Hello everybody and welcome to the 2014 Nancy Drew Mega Marathon. This is the year in which Nancy Drew number 30, the Shattered Medallion, is being released. And so to celebrate, I thought I would play all 30 Nancy Drew games in a row in a humongous Mega Marathon taking course, taking, taking, uh, taking place over the course of several weeks. Today I am playing Nancy Drew number 11. Curse of Blackmore Manor, which was released on October 5th, 2004. Now, this game is the game in which Nancy goes to England, hence my ridiculous accent. Uh, let's get started with this game. I am playing the game in front of a live studio audience. There are people watching me play this game on YouTube. There, there's a minor delay of about 15 seconds or so, but I will pay attention to what people are saying. This is fantastic. And, uh, let's get started! Welcome to my latest case, the Curse of Blackmore Manor. I, of so course, am going to play detective. as a if senior detective. Or need some help, Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. A daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, Mish. Good luck. Thank you, sir. I, I wish to have the best of luck. Well, I'm here at Blackwall Manor. So, this is the game. Hooray! Nancy Drew, Curse of Blackmore Manor. Pretty exciting place. I mean, like, it's a manor and stuff. Mrs. Drake, I take it you and Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night, especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right. Thank you. So, one of the reasons why I like this game, besides for the fact that it's amazing, one of the reasons I really like this game is that you can do all sorts of puzzles. It's filled with puzzles, and you can do them in basically any order you want to. I am going to be a good person this time around and solve the puzzles in the proper order. Oh, there are Nancy's mom jeans again. Oh dear. Okay, okay, um... So on the first day of the game, you're supposed to meet with Linda. Linda is sick, and in fact, she might be turning into a werewolf. So, Ethel, do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. This is not a good time. So that is Jane. She's with Stay Ethel. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. And this is Linda. Linda? Hi. 
it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. And I'm sorry to have to bother someone in your condition. My condition? What's my mother told you? What her son-in-law keeps telling me? That it's all in my head? That I'm just an unhappy new bride? That I just need time to adjust? <sighs> I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry. But that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if... Mommy, can I come in? No. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. I can't go home empty-handed. It might jeopardize my ace detective status. Linda? Okay, I'll let you rest, but I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Oh, Linda. Hi, Linda. Linda? I'll be going now. So that's Linda, an interesting enough character. This is what she looks like without that, you know, without being turned into a werewolf. I think this is Hugh's previous wife. His previous wife, the famous opera singer. So let's meet Jane. Her lessons Hi. are over. You must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. Not right now. Maybe later. I'd like to ask some questions first. Uh, sure. What do you want to know? About Mummy? Uh, I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. When did she start getting sick? I was playing in Mommy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting something on Mommy's nightstand. Did you recognize the woman? I couldn't see her face because she wore a cape with a hood. The lady put a note on Mommy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mommy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. Not right now, but maybe later. You can come in any time you want, even if I'm not here. I've got some really smashing things. I'm so happy you've come, Nancy. I hope you can make Mommy feel better. Smashing! We've got really smashing things here at Blackmore Manor. That's my family tree. Ask me anything about anyone. Go on, ask me. Tell me about Albert. He was very mysterious, and the people of Blackmore were afraid of him because he knew all these scientific things. No one knows much about him, though. Who was Jeanette? It's Jeanette. I think he wrote plays, maybe. I don't know, I forget. Who was Anisha? A nun. Who was Joan? Is that misspelled? No, that's how they spelled it then. She got married to this duke somewhere in Flanders. Oh, Joan. Oh, female name. I thought that was John. Okay. So this tells us about runes, ancient runes. Hooray! Ancient runes. We're gonna have a rune puzzle. My Monsters! I, in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. Okay, the people in the studio audience want me to pretend to be Jane. I, I'm not sure if I can do a very good Jane accent. You know, I'm not doing- I'm trying it now, but I don't think I sound anything at all like her. Sorry. So this is about uh, werewolves and people turning into them. And if you have information about werewolves, feel free to call the, uh, the author at the book. I use that to make cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients are so nasty. Like, I would eat mealworms. I would never eat mealworms. Mealworms are the worst. What is this book? 
Don't know, really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it belonged to my grandfather. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? Whoa, Brady Armstrong? Well, I'm not a fan of Brady Armstrong because he, you know, tried to kill me back in St. Louis, but other than that, he's okay. That book has clues for various puzzles. Who's this? That's my mom, my real mom. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. Aww. That was written by Charles Pemberlin way back in like the 1500s. When I read it, it seemed really familiar, you know? I assume these are like opera posters. I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total hottie. <laughs> oh, Brady. All these pictures of Brady Armstrong on the Heartthrob channel. You had a guinea pig? Yes, but it died. When? I don't know. I'd really rather not think about it, all right? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, sorry, I'm distracted. Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. Hmm. Okay, so, so much for that. Now let's leave the room and meet... Hey, those things just winked at me. Now let's leave the room and meet, uh, Ethel. Oh, you startled me. You must be Nancy. I'm Jean's tutor, Ethel. How do you do? Jean is very excited you're visiting. You're all she's talked about for the past week. Wow, I feel so embarrassed. I didn't think I'd have a fan club all the way over here. Yes, well, I'm sorry, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I need to go over some things with Jane. Oh, I guess I'll be going then. It was a pleasure meeting you, Nancy. Our paths will cross again, I'm sure. So now let's talk to Linda about the woman in black. I'm sorry to bother you again, but Jane told me about the lady in black. What lady in black? Jane never said anything to me about a lady in black. That kid is so weird. I just don't get her. Did you receive a note or something that's upset you? I did receive something. But it's none of your concern. You can't help me and that's that. I'm sorry. Linda, you have to give me a chance. Everyone is so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe I could help. Linda, I made a promise to your mother and I plan to keep it. I'm here for you when you need me. So that's basically, uh, I usually have this to, as the first part of the game, meeting Linda and Jane. And I should get a phone call from Mrs. Petroff. There we go. There goes my cell phone. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petroff. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Literally speaking, no. But I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda. Although... Although... Petra, are you there? It's just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason. Which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Who exactly?
exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. I noticed. The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Oh, that is creepy. Goodbye, Mrs. Pedro. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town. And, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Okay, so like for the past uh, 10 minutes or so, I've been unable to see any of the comments being made by people in the live studio audience. My apologies to everybody in the live studio audience. They are talking about random British food, so apparently, you know, I shouldn't worry. Or I should order some random British food. Let's get random British food. Random British food. Random British food is good. This is Nancy Drew. Right, right. Nancy Drew, out at the old Blackmore Manor, are you? Coos, you must be Ike Marvin up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some vexing posh. Just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. What do you have? We've got some loop-de-loop, -loop, bangers and mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me forking knife, just rubber duct. Hello? Hello? Uh, <laughs> could you repeat that? Sure, we've got, got some loop de loop, bangers and mash, pinky, pinky and perky, and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. I'll have some loop de loop. Okay, one loop de loop. I've got Fred and Johnny Rudder. Uh, okay. All right then, we'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit, but we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. Okay, yes, yes, yes. People are wondering, like, Mrs. Petroff is sort of treating Nancy like a psychologist, not a, a detective. Here. Hello, Mr. Pendleton. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's visiting Linda. You know, from the United States, across the pond. Yes, of course. Are you at Blackmore? Yes, I am, and I've talked to Linda. Good for you, because frankly, that's something I've been quite unable to do lately. These temper tantrums of hers make rational discourse well nigh impossible. So, fun fact, I think it's the same person. He does both voices uh, for the cook and Hugh. She gets angry for no reason? Absolutely none. We'll be talking on the phone about the weather or Jane's lessons or something equally innocuous, and suddenly she'll be bellowing at me and slamming the phone down. Hmm. Are you sure you didn't inadvertently say something, you know, argumentative? I promise you, these rages of hers are totally uncalled for and quite... Unbearable. I love her dearly, but she is making things very difficult. Oh, poor Hugh. I met your daughter Jane. Quite the bundle of energy, isn't she? I get the feeling that she's a little lonely. I'm sure she is, what with a private tutor instead of school and Linda being under the weather. And coming back to Blackmore no doubt reminds her of her real mother. Renee and I were divorced almost two years ago. Jane went into a bit of a tailspin for a while, but she's come to adore Linda. She's been calling her mummy since the day we were married. It was nice talking to you. This is an extremely busy time for me, so I apologize in advance if you call and I'm unavailable. I understand. Good. Cheerio. So I do wonder what that means. Um, okay. So, um... Now Nancy's going to have a nightmare sequence. Fun fact, the people are going to be chanting the first few lines of the Aeneid in Latin. It's a Latin poem. We rum quae cano, troiae qui primus saboris. What is that? Oh, baby, I'd better have a look around. So, that's just a fun little Latin joke for people who know Latin. Yay! I had to read that in college, so... It's not that bad. Okay, so... Mm, mm, ice cream. Ice cream would be delicious. Uh, what am I doing now? I need to look at this. Hmm, a tripod. 
for a camera, maybe? So I can ask Jane about it. So now that it is... What's that? He was Randolph's grandson and the first initiate. Odo did not have the proper qualities for Randolph's instruction. Because he was stupid? No, Jane. It's because Randolph believed that the proper qualities skip every generation. We talked about that, remember? I guess. Milo was a great soldier, just like his grandfather. And with his grandfather's help, he was victorious at Khan. That was a battle fought in 1417, during the Hundred Years' War. That's right. But I don't understand something. The Hundred Years' War lasted longer than a hundred years, right? So why do they call it that? Why don't they call it the 116-year war, huh? Oh my, look at the time. We need to go over your geometry. Please open your book to page 46 and read silently. Yeah, silently. It sounds like Ethel's covering up for the fact that she has no idea what the Hundred Years' War is about. I don't either, so, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm not criticizing her, I'm just saying. So now let's meet Mrs. Drake. She works here in the conservatory. Looks like John Pendleton may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Doesn't work. Oh, doesn't work. So Mrs. Drake is over here, and this is... This is an end game sequence, an end game sequence. Nancy can be eaten by the plant. That's probably not a good idea. Ah! I always thought that was interesting. We, we get to see Nancy. Yay. Hooray. All settled in? Good. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must insist that you act respectfully and civilly while you stay with us. Since my nephew, Hugh, is away on business, I am in charge of this household. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's noise. Hugh's daughter, Jane, is staying with us and would very much like to meet you, but please try not to distract her. She has her studies and mustn't be disturbed during her lessons. What is Jane studying? What every British schoolgirl needs to know. All of her schooling in the States has left her with, shall we say, a cultural deficit. She's in capable hands now. Is she privately tutored? Yes, she is. Just as all Penvillains before her. Ethel Bossany comes from a long line of tutors that have taught many generations of Penvillains. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. You may have the run of the house, but do not break anything, and refrain from mucking about with items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane seems incapable of following. And before I forget, our kitchen is being remodeled, so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. I spoke with Mr. Tucker at the Boar's Head Pub. But, frankly, I'm not at all sure what he said. Yes, his language is quite colorful, isn't it? He's Cockney, you see. My brother Alan and I loved to make up Cockney rhymes when we were young. We drive our governess quite batty. Haven't got a pot of glue. Haven't got a pot of glue. Oh, how we teased her. Pot of glue? A clue, dear. Haven't got a clue. Rhymes with glue, you see. Oh, that's because there's snow. See, that's Cockney rhyming slang for good to know. Huh? I, I think I've got it wrong. The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. I'm concerned about that thing I saw outside. It was purely your imagination, unless you saw a, a stray dog. But I will not countenance any histronics about this issue. We have enough to worry about with Linda. And please do not get any ideas about going outside to investigate. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. Oh, oh no. This place must have quite a history. Where can I learn more? Go see Nigel in the library. He's going to write a book about our family history. What was your brother Alan like? Oh, he was quite remarkable. He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He loved games, especially pranks, and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes, but now he's gone. 
He died a month after my husband passed away. And ever since I've been here all alone. Until Hugh came back from the United States, that is. Goodbye. Run along. So I think Mrs. Drake went crazy over the years that she was alone. You're hungry. Who's ready for some nummy? Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. Ah, uh, poor Mrs. Drake. Old woman, no children, dead husband, dead brother. Everyone I know is dead. They've all died. They're not alive. They're dead. Huh. Oh, this game works. Okay, so that's 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 a game. Later on, the game will not work. And let's meet Nigel. Ah, yes. Are you here from the agency? It's about time. No, I'm Nancy Drew, a friend of Linda's. How do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. I'm researching the Pendulin family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing much has been written about the Pendulins. Until now. Why do you think that is? It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family treasure. Family treasure? Family treasure? For centuries, the Pendulins have been very secretive. Some believe they're protectors of a fabulous treasure, or of some dark secret. There are several skeletons rattling about in the Pendulin closet. Take, for example, Eleanor Pendulin, tried and convicted of witchcraft in 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. Cromwell? Oliver Cromwell? Ironsides? <laughs> I suppose they don't teach history any longer in the U.S. Oh! Oh! Rather oh! 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 And helped many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown. Although many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Some even saw phantom hands floating about the manor, tolling their charmed chimes. Nigel, 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 oh, 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 uh, oh Nigel, 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 Nigel. I love Nigel, and it, he just is so insulting to Americans not studying history. We do study history, Nigel. We just don't study British history. We, we study American history in America. I, I thought somebody who was actually a historian might know something like that. Hmm. Yes. Y yes. Uh, seriously, Cromwell, was he the crazy guy who tried to take over the government? Maybe. When I arrived here, I saw some kind of creature with red eyes outside. Perhaps it was the Blackmore Beast. What's that? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, many of the villagers reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked the mistress of Blackmore Manor, Eleanor Pendleton, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. It was rumored that the beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had cursed for finding out too much about the Pendleton secret. Ooh, ooh, Robin has a good point. Yeah, this this is Rich coming from Nigel, who's getting his history from rumors. Rumors. That's where he's coming up with this history of the Pendleton family. Seriously, I think most of his history is just rumors. You mentioned some kind of scandal with the Pendleton family? Well, having a family member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride, I dare say. And then there's the whole business with the Blackmore Beach. Oh, oh, one of one of the people in the studio audience, Elise, is saying that Oliver Cromwell did take over the government. Okay, so he did take over the British government. Did he give it back? I, I think he might have given it back, but I, I'm not sure. Who are all those paintings of in the Great Hall? Those are the Pendleton's who owned Blackmore Manor at one time or another. Have you seen any ruins anywhere in the manor? You mean like Norse ruins? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know? Well, talking to boring historians isn't really my bag, so I'm going to leave. I'll let you get back to your work. Goodbye. Achoo! Viewed the door off. Spasiba. Do you mind if I use this computer? No, not at all. But it's very old. Feel free to use mine if I'm not here. 
I don't know what the password is, so I'm just going to go, um, let me see. You can get the password from Jane, but because I skipped ahead to the second day of the game, I can actually talk with Linda. Linda will talk to you on the second day of the game. She will be super impressed that you did not run home screaming like a little baby. Or Nigel. Hi, Linda. Nancy? I can't believe you're still here. I thought for sure that... Maybe you can help me. What did the lady in black leave for you on your nightstand? All I know is I've awakened something in this house. Something that refuses to rest. Ah, okay, so Elise, uh, our United Kingdom historical fan, is saying that Cromwell took over the government, but when his son took over after he died, the, the, the British royals took it back. The royal family took it back. Okay, that makes sense. Refuses to rest? <sighs> One day after Hugh left for Rome, I inadvertently discovered a secret passageway. I started to explore it. And pretty soon, I found this really old-looking message etched into the wall. When I read it, I realized it was some kind of ancient curse. I tried to laugh it off, but it was kind of unnerving. So I went back to my room and found a note on my nightstand. And on it was written the exact same curse. That very night, I started to feel... strange. The curse has been coming true ever since. The curse of Blackmore Manor. Can you tell me what this curse said? I burned it as soon as I read it. I don't know why I bothered telling you this. You can't do anything for me. I should have listened, but I didn't. And now what's done is done. Tell me about the secret passageway you found. No. I've already sealed my own doom. I won't do the same to you. I'm not going to tell you anything. How well do you get along with Jane? I've been giving it the old college try, believe me. But she can just be so strange sometimes. Maybe she's just trying too hard to get you to like her. That could be part of it, but she'll just do the oddest things. Like one night just after Hugh left, she came into my room and insisted I read a book to her. That doesn't sound very odd to me. The book was on monsters, vampires, and werewolves, and witches. I mean, what kind of little girl reads books like that? She fits right into this house, that's for sure. I'll see you soon. I hope so. Alrighty, so that's that's it for now. We need to go to Jane, but I imagine she's busy with her lessons right now. We're in lessons right now. Ah. Okay, well, let's solve this puzzle. You can solve this puzzle at any time. The singing stairs make weird sounds. And your challenge is to recreate the pattern of sounds. So your solution is bad cad e e. Bad caddy, caddy the sea monster from Danger on Deception Island. Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. That must be the food I ordered. Yummy! Ah, loop de loop, otherwise known as soup. This smells delicious. And Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder are just plain old bread and butter. That hit the spot. How do I get the butter? I want to get the butter, right? Hmm. Looks like Nancy hasn't learned that she actually needs butter yet. I think the, the butter is for here. I need the key. Oh wait, I have the key. So why did somebody hide the key to Jane's room above fits, the stairs? I don't know. Seems like a weird place to hide the key to Jane's room. So now Nancy has the butter. Hooray, hooray. And let's skip ahead to when Jane is finished with lessons, shall we? I think she's finished at three.
Uh, okay, somebody in the studio audience is asking what the dog's eye is. It's shepherd's pie. It's, it's British food. It's British food. And I think Fred, Fred and Rudder could be the culprits. Yes. Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder, they could be working together. Hi, Nancy. Have you ever seen anything strange outside? Once I saw my Uncle Roger's toupee fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. It's freaky deaky deaky, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wind is blowing all the hair. It started flowing in the air. I mean, have you seen a strange animal outside? No, but I have heard weird noises like this. Howling. But not like a dog howling. More like something human. I don't want to think about that. It's scary enough having to live in this gloomy place. Do you know of any secret passageways in the manor? I found one, but all it did was lead to this funny picture. Do you think you could show me where the passageway is? Wouldn't you rather play a game with me? I'm so bored. I'll play a game with you after you show me the passageway. No, we'll play a game, and if you win, I'll tell you where it is. I got this at this really neat museum in the States. It's supposed to be an original Maya game, but don't worry. You don't have to, like, kill people or take their hearts out or anything. It's really easy to play. You roll the corn and move your warriors a number of dots on the corn. If no dots, then you get to move five spaces. You get two turns, but you can pass on your second turn. You just keep on going down this track, and you can capture my person if you land on him. Whoever gets all the warriors wins. I'll be blue. Here we go. I like Jane, but she is too aggressive with trying to get people to play games with her. And this was in Nancy Drew, uh, the other game. I pass. You can go. Secret of the Scarlet Hand. You can go. I still never learned, I've never learned how to play bull fantastically. Your turn. Like, in Secret of the Scarlet Hand, there was this thing in Sonny's notebook. The Sonny's notebook talked about how Bull is related to uh, Pascal's triangle. Blaise Pascal, the uh, mathematician. Pass. But I never I never figured it out, so I, I still get stuck. Gotcha. Hooray! I win! Your turn. You can go. Pass. I pass. Your turn. So somebody in the studio audience is pointing out something. Is Jane... All right. Is Jane the first child in the Nancy Drew series to be like a, a character? We've had teenagers at, at the school, you can go. but... Rats. You lucked out that time. Okay. I found yeah, I guess she's the first child. The hall. That's the hall with the coat of arms on the door. But it's not a very exciting secret passageway. You're going to be totally bored. Wouldn't you rather play a game with me instead? No, not really. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around here? I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the Penville name and heritage that should be treasured. Ugh. Have you ever heard anything strange at night that sounds like chanting? No. Oh, uh, and people in the studio audience are saying I, I have mispronounced Pascal. It's Pascal's triangle because King Pascal... You, play Nancy Drew's Secret of the Scarlet Hand, or better watch my videos for it. Um, Pink, King, Pinga, Pinga, Paul, King Pakal is a character. Well, I mean, you can't like talk to him, but yeah, he, he King Pakal is like a Mayan king. Do you know what the password is for the computer in the library? Yes, but I won't tell. Not unless you beat me at Skull and Bones. My friend Hugo bought this for me. It's like Go Fish, but you have to collect three of a kind of weird things like zombies and ghosts. You go first. 
So you can skip this puzzle if you already know what the password is, which I do, but I'm doing the puzzle anyway. Do you have any witches? Here you go. It's I not got really a, a puzzle, it's a game. Do you have any bones? Sorry. So do if I lose... Spiders? All yours. Ah. Uh, do you have any spiders? Go dig. If I lose, I'm just going to enter the password. Do you have any coffin? Go dig. Do you have any spiders? Get out your shovel. Do you have any ghosts? Dig. Do you have any spiders? Get out your shovel. Quit asking for spiders. Do you not know how these games work, Jane? Do you have any skulls? Nada. Ah. Uh, any bats? Get out your shovel. Okay, so she has bats and the spiders. Do you have any bones? Sorry. Oh. Do you have any skulls? All yours. You uh, got uh, Oh. Do you have any spiders? Afraid not. Do you have any haunted houses? Here you go. Do you have any ghosts? Go dig. That's a match. Yay. Any bones? All yours. Any bats? Go dig. Do you have any coffins? Sorry. Do you have any zombies? Get out your shovel. Do you have any ghosts? Here you go. That's a match. Do you have any coffins? Here you go. That's a match. Do you have any bones? Here you go. I got a match. Do you have any spiders? Here you go. That's a match. Do you have any bats? Here you go. I got a match. I am just destroying at this game. Five matches in a row. Did you see that? Do you have any tombstones? Here you go. Do you have any tombstones? Nada. Do you have any zombies? All okay, yours. and now she's going to take match. them all from Good me. Good for you. Tombstones? I win. You won. Good job. Okay, the password for my grandfather's computer is on his coat of arms, plain as day. Well, which one is his coat of arms? The lady in black you saw in Linda's room. Did she look like anyone you know? Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face. But she was kind of dressed like the lady in the Great Hall. Which lady? Eleanor. I know it sounds weird. That's why I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Sometimes I wonder if I just dreamed it all up. Mrs. Drake is always saying I have a rampant imagination. I should get going. Toodles! Rampant imagination. So, we learned that there is a passage, passageway at the end of the East Hall. So let's actually go there. That's That was why we played with Jane. Uh-oh. No! Ghosts! I'm going to be destroyed! Oh, it's just a parrot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Polly want a cracker? Not Polly! Lolo! 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 Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lolo, 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 Lolo. Bye, bird. So that's Lulu, the parrot that we can't actually talk to. But Lulu is a parrot. I need the key. I need the key. Don't I have the key? I need the key. Oh, I think we're going to have to go back to Jane, and she's going to force us to play yet another game for the key. Hi, Nancy. The East Hall is locked. Do you know how I can get in it? My great aunt took the key. She probably thought I'd break something in there, but I found another one. Here, you can keep it if you want. No games? You're just giving it to me? I should get going. Toodles. Fantastic. <laughs> Who's a pretty bird in the mirror? Oh, right, this puzzle. Okay, so it's right up down, down, right, left. The but, hands move. what you need to do is get the hands in the uh, proper position. But then you have to remember. Oh, there we go. Wow, lucky. Okay. If I want to look around in there, I'm going to need a flashlight. It's too dark. Let's see if Nigel has a flashlight. Hello, Nancy. 
I'll let you get back to your work. Tally ho! Because I know we can talk to her about this. Yes? Do you have a flashlight I could borrow? A what? A flashlight? I'm sorry, but we do not possess every new gadget simply because our American cousins do. Can you tell me about Lulu? Lulu is a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Please be very careful with her, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions, you know. Goodbye. Good day. Well, fine. In order to get the flashlight, we are going to have to go talk to Miss Jane. And she's probably going to force us to play a game with her. So, did you find what you were looking for on that secret passageway? Let's just say you live in a very interesting house. I don't want to hear. It's so scary to think people can be looking about behind these walls. But you shouldn't tell anyone about them either. If you do, they'll probably close them off and say they're too dangerous. Do you have a flashlight? <laughs> a flashlight? Oh, Nancy, flashlight is an American term. In the UK, we call it a torch. I don't have one, but I do have a whole bunch of glow sticks. If you want one, you have to play a game with me. That's the rule. This is a game I bought in Arizona. You have to make as many matches as possible. Arizona? Off, get set, go! I was just there, Nancy Drew, uh, uh, Secret of Shadow Ranch. So I forget how many matches you have to make. You have to get, like, a, a minimum number for Jane to be happy with you. If you do not, she will be unhappy and refuse to give you a glow stick. I'm doing pretty well here, right? Uh, <laughs> there we go, there's a match of three. All right, so, um, oh, I've got plenty of time left, okay. No need to worry so much. Hey, I moved that there. Oh, there we go. I'm supposed to beat the high score. Right, okay. Great score! Here's your glow stick. If this one goes out, I'll let you play for another one. And Sarah Ann is correct. Why does Jane want me to play this game? It's not like Jane is doing anything. She's just watching Nancy play a game. I should get going. Au revoir. Why is she so happy about watching Nancy play a game? Okay. Yeah, I need a bigger bolt. Right, up, down, down, right, left. Down. Down, right, left. Like, Nancy has a phone. Can't her phone actually um, make things brighter? Can't she use her phone here? Creepy pictures on the walls. Those are actually like torch hangers, but they sort of look like faces. Doesn't look anything like a curse. Barber, and a picture of a parrot. I wonder if Lulu has something to do with this. So now we have an extended Lulu challenge. Hooray! Lulu challenge. Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Hello? Is the word barber? 
Cyber mean anything to you? Watch the magic word! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, the headcanon theorist is saying Jane likes the game because it means she doesn't have to do homework. That explains why she doesn't. That explains why she likes the game uh, so much. Please? Ding! Sorry, that is incorrect. Lulu, what magic word? Magic word, magic word, magic word. Ideal's a deal. The word annoying comes to mind. Ding! Sorry, that is incorrect! Magic word, magic word, magic word. Ideal's a deal. Okay, okay. I guess I'll go try to figure out what the magic word is. Here we go. Pip, pip, trio, trio. Okay, so Mrs. Drake knows about the magic word because she's the only one who knows about Lulu. Because she grew up with Lulu when she was growing up with Alan. Yes? Do you know anything about Lulu's magic word? Magic word? Oh, yes. You see, my brother and grandfather would play a word game with Lulu. I never understood how it was played, but they'd play for hours. Lulu would sometimes grow sullen and refuse to play the game anymore unless they told her that... Oh, what was it that they'd have to tell her? It's perched on the tip of my tongue. Ah, they have to tell Lulu that she was a very, very clever and beautiful bird. Would you have a torch that I could borrow? No, I'm afraid not. Jane ruined all of ours with some sort of experiment she cooked up. But I believe she may have some of those glow sticks for illumination. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. All right, so in the studio audience, Jace makes a good point. This is not the first time in the Nancy Drew series where we have had puzzles which were set in place like 50, 100 years ago, and they are still working perfectly. I mean, just think about it. If Lulu dies, nobody would be able to figure out the secret of Blackmore Manor. And she's going to die eventually. Proper good morning to you, matey. I know the magic word. Magic word, magic word. What's the magic word? Lulu is a very, very clever and beautiful bird. Ah, clever and beautiful. How true, how true. Clever and beautiful. Ah. Easy, Lulu. You're hurting my ears. Oh, what's your word? Barber. Please. Bye, bird. Here we go. And think about all these other clues to the puzzles, which should be impossible to solve because they're on timers. Like the computer in the library. Eventually, they're going to replace that computer and make it impossible for anybody to figure out the Blackmore Manor secret. Or uh, the thing in Jane's room. Burping dragon. <laughs> so the, the, the thing in Jane's room, uh, you know... That huge poster. What if somebody got rid of it? What if somebody got rid of the Munis Lieber? What if they brought this building up the clo what if they brought this building up to code? Wasn't it leech? Leech is the word? Picture? I, I don't know this one. Let's see if Lulu knows. Yeah, I don't know. There are just so many parts of this puzzle, you think, which would eventually, like, not work anymore. Uh-oh. Not good. Stay away. Stay away. What's not good? Behind you. Don't look. Don't look. And okay, people in the studio audience are being sticklers for grammar and saying Lulu's magic word is more like a magic phrase. What's behind me? Don't look! Don't look! Okay, I won't. Nothing there. Hold ya. <laughs> Does the word picture mean anything to you? You very, very clever and beautiful bird, you? Picture? Book! Picture book! Bye, bird. Here we go. And seriously, Nancy should just leave the door open instead of having to do this puzzle every single time. So, people in the studio audience want me to make a cake for Lulu, and that is actually something which happens. Eventually, that's why I'm doing this puzzle the long way around, rather than putting in the answers that I already know. Baby... What comes after baby? 
The answer is Bonnet, but we need to learn from Lulu. Oh, baby, baby, yeah. Oh, baby, you're my baby. Wah, wah, gonna cry all night, little baby, baby girl. Hello. Oh, very, very clever and beautiful bird. What's up with the word baby? Egg first. Lulu hungry. Egg first. Egg first. A cake, huh? All right, I'll see what I can do. So with the cake, to learn about the cake, you can use the, the web directory. I don't think Nancy gets email. Oh, Bess and George. Okay, they're in sailing camp. And the Hardy Boys? Are the Hardy Boys sending me email? They're helping somebody install a television. But on the internet, we can look up things like... Um, healthy diet for parrots so don't have those things those are bad for parrots and cockney rhyming slang this tells us about cockney rhyming slang now that's beast of blackmore i wanted cockney rhyming slang mickey mouse means house So here's some ones. Baked beans, jeans, nanny goat, boat, teapot, lids, kids, hickory dickory dock, clock, Uncle Fred and Johnny Rutta, a bread and butter. Okay, so let's cook some food for I'm Lulu. I'm going to bake another cake for Lulu, if that's okay. Help yourself. Um, let's go with beans and mealworms. The Krollmeister oven. It's so cute. Little smiley cat with a, a chef hat. Yeah, this thing. This is essential for the puzzle outside Jane's room. Uh, good thing nobody's gotten rid of that ugly uh, tapestry in the past 300 years. Hello! Lulu want a yummy cake? Okay, Lulu, tell me, what's up with the word baby? Bonnet. Baby bonnet. Yeah, baby, baby bonnet. Bye, bird. <laughs> Pay no attention to the bird behind the curtain. Ugh. Okay, burping dragon. So I think eventually we're going to have something happen here. Um, let me just solve the puzzle now. You know, people wanted me to make a cake for Lulu, and I did. And so I'm just going to hurry through, saving some time here. Uh-oh, somebody's at my door. So, uh, hey, hey everybody, um, news. Uh, that was actually uh, Katie, my girlfriend at the door. Say hello to everybody, Katie. Hi guys. So, um, she will watch me solve this puzzle. This is a word puzzle. So, it's our, it, we had our like pod? one word was baby and then bonnet and then hour and then glass. Okay. Ant and. Ant farm? Oh, Ant Hill. Oh, okay. Yeah, see how this it works? so bad. Okay. Yeah, not like the, uh, the other game you played was uh, Danger on Deception Island. By play, you mean sadly went and watched and went, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, it turns out that puzzle, that particular puzzle, there's actually an order the pipes are supposed to go in, which is easy to find out. But, but it doesn't match what pipes are supposed to be. They're supposed to be the hook at the bottom, that way it catches the hair, and it didn't do that. I know, we, we did it wrong. I, I apologize very much. So as you can see, there's a little oh, bit of a gosh, delay. Oh gosh, people still there. It looks like the rest of this grid is on the other side of the wall. So we're in a hidden passageway, and obviously this puzzle is to make all of the triangles go up. Why is it the other triangle? That doesn't seem fair. The other triangles are moving. Okay, that looks good. <laughs> okay. I. It's how the puzzle works. <laughs> 
So now we are going to meet. Oh, I'm going to be distracted playing this game <laughs> rather than playing. Playing. Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. I made a mistake. I forgot to switch cameras, and people couldn't actually see the game. Okay. Hmm, that's not good. Yeah, great. So wait, that that means we just gave everybody like a minute segment of the two of us talking and looking at each other <laughs> rather than um, actually seeing the actual game. Okay, mm, I'll just good? have to black that screen out later on when I uh, do this in editing because I don't want people seeing my desktop. Yes, creepy Ethel. What were you doing in there? I found a secret passage off of the East Hall. So I suspected. These old homes usually have a secret passageway or two, but I must insist that you no longer play in these areas. They can be extremely dangerous. But I'm curious about where they lead. Well, we wouldn't want you to end up like the proverbial cat, would we, Nancy? Please heed my warning. It would be terrible if something happened to you. Sounds like a threat, right? That sounds like a threat. Totally sounds like a threat. What you're teaching Jane looks pretty rigorous, but interesting. I believe young people need to have a well-rounded education and learn what every other pendulum should know. So this is like one of three times we actually talk to her in this game. <laughs> have you seen but the she's book creepy. in Jane's room called mm. the Mutus Bleeber? Yes, the silent book. It's quite fascinating and very old. Jane's grandfather left it with me to give to her. It almost seems as if it's telling some kind of story. Yes, but a long lost story whose meaning will probably never be understood. Have you ever heard the legend about the Beast of Blackmore? Of course. Everyone who grows up in these parts knows it. But it's just a myth. One that unfortunately proved to be quite damaging to the Pendulums. Damaging to the Pendulums? Well, yes. Ooh, Eleanor Pendulum was executed because the Yeah, Pendulum it's very hard to spell. Things cannot get much more damaging than that. At the end there. Yeah, well, they're like villains. These are, these are like, you know... Do you know much about mm -hmm. the Pendleton family history? Only that they were a very well-respected and talented family. Many of my ancestors were comments. tutors of some of the <laughs> Yes, yes, and yes, 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 yes. but we're, we're ignoring some of, some of these comments. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye, Nancy. Some, uh, some hilarious, but still inappropriate. Okay, so now we're meeting Linda. Um, Linda is turning into a werewolf. I found the secret passageway. Jane told me where it is, but I didn't just... see any curse in there. How could you have missed it? It was right there, just waiting to be found, wanting to be found. I can't believe how foolish I was, that stupid gargoyle. I hated how its evil eyes would stare at me whenever I walked to my room. So I moved it around, changed its position, kept fiddling with it. But when that secret door suddenly opened, I couldn't resist going in there. Which gargoyle is this? What do you mean, which gargoyle? I thought you said you found the secret passageway. So there's more than one. Linda, I think someone's trying to scare you off. I think they thought you were getting too close to something that's hidden in this house. You're right. I did get too close to something. That witch, that witch that was burned at the stake. She's cursed me and she's probably cursed you too. Oh, sorry. Funny, funny comment from Maddie saying we need to get a bell for uh, Ethel so we know where she's coming from. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Goodbye. Because, I mean, usually it's like this, where, you know, Linda's always going to be in her room, and Jane's always going to be in her room, but the Ethel just randomly appears out of nowhere. So I'll this is the gargoyle. the gargoyle. Something tells me I'd better not mess with this until I know what I'm... Something tells me I'd better... There's got to be an easier way to figure this out. The game refuses to let you solve the puzzle on your own, so we actually need to go to Nigel to get help. This is Nigel, the historian. Hello, Nancy. How did you know to go to Nigel? Um, I didn't. I'll let Fine. you get back to your work. <laughs> vale. Oh, he said vale. See, see, that's an ancient, ancient word. It's an, it's from Latin, and it's funny because earlier on he said, "Well, ancient languages aren't my bag." So, um, this is the clue. This is the clue we need. See the gargoyle in front of John Locke, the philosopher. Well, How'd wait. How do you know that was John Locke? Because I know him. I've studied philosophy. Some of these people are like, 
like real life British people like that looks like Thomas More. I don't think that's actually him though. Hmm. Doesn't Thomas More normally picture it with a hat? That's why I'm saying it. He's got the hat. Oh yeah, there he is. That's definitely Tom Saint no, Sir Thomas More there. Yeah. But that's that's not him. He had a red hat, I think. It's different. I don't know what the British hats require. Um, Anyway, go talk to Nigel. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> now that we've seen the statue with the gargoyle, now we can talk to Nigel about it. Who is the man See, we solved the puzzle. We're gargoyle? so smart, Katie. That's I mean, cool. you so smart. I'm just, I'm just a groupie. <laughs> 1741, I believe. He was Eleanor's grandson and spent his life in France. It was rumored that he secretly returned to Blackmore to continue his grandmother's experiments in the mystical arts. Where can I find his coat oh, of arms? Okay, you take I over. Didn't realize you were so interested. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. You can solve this challenge. It's super easy. It's a typing oh, challenge. Perhaps if you can help me out, I can find that. Such a It's a deal. What do you want me to do? Perhaps Fine. first we should see oh. how fast you type. This program will rate your speed. Oh gosh. Just type the characters that appear on the like screen. this. If you're good enough, I'll let you type up my memoir, oh. and then I'll let you see I the coat of arms. your memoirs are lame. Let's see. Oh, you have to go and change the cap? That's not fair. Oh, they're not even in a spot that makes any sense. Oh, where'd you get me into? Oh, gosh. Why? Oh, I'm used to typing things in lines. Man, why can't one of your people that's on the chat thing do a screen share and go and do this you for you? You don't need to do shift. It doesn't, the game doesn't care if it's uppercase or lowercase. I thought it did. Let's see. It totally cared because I'm oh. pressing Z and it's not happy with me. Okay, on junior mode it doesn't care then. Oh, on junior mode this isn't junior mode? I'm playing on You're the super just... difficult senior mode. Oh, well, aren't you special? I, I don't know. This is... Oh, they're just all over the place. Time up. Words from it. Wow. It was an epic fail. Okay, okay. Oh, I'll take over. That's terrible. My pet chinchilla oh. could do better than that. Oh my gosh. Your pet, his pet chinchilla could do better than that. Yeah, I think, uh... So these are his notes about Blackmore Manor, and people who are smart tell me that he writes extra notes later on in the game, but these help you solve some clues. So I guess he wants us to do that again. Okay. Okay. What was it? Hey, fine. What are people in the chat saying? They're saying things like how, like bang the keyboard like crazy. Just <laughs> slam the keyboard, you'll do fine. I think I should try that next time. Just like take my fist and pound it. Take yeah, this is definitely a, a, the senior mode because they put in they put in numerals here. Numerals. Yeah, geez. Why is senior mode so difficult? Let's see, P, Z, Y. And you're right, it just doesn't make any sense. This is why nobody likes Nigel. Okay, okay, I think I could just coast on that. Oh no, it's going down! You have seven seconds left. There you go, you're supposed to type the entire time. Okay, did it. Gosh, high five, fist pump. Oh, Excellent yeah. score. Now, here's what I'd like you to type up. These are my memoirs. I think you'll find them quite interesting. I was very, very tiny when I was born. These are the most boring memoirs I've ever read in my life. Him and his pet chinchilla, Nigel. He doesn't even type all that. Phew, yeah, done. Finally. I feel like I've been typing forever. Nigel! Nigel! I'll oh. that Mercury puzzle. What's the Mercury puzzle? Uh, much, much later on. Oh, okay. Blackberry. Oh, and there's a picture of him at, uh, you know, in that one place. Oh, on the computer? Game number four, yeah. He's standing in, at, in uh, the castle. Isn't that kind of lazy? They're just reusing the same animation from a prior game. No, they're not. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> Check this out. Check this out. Now we get to see what Creepy Ethel is doing. Okay. 
No, it's 3.15 at night, remember? Did you asshole that all your fans said had weird boobs? Yeah, it's 3.15 okay. a.m. in the morning, so guess what she's doing? I have no idea. Sleeping? No key without oil, no fire without oil, no key without toil, no fire without oil, no key without oil, no fire without oil. No Seems very, uh, oh God, Stonehenge. Well, they are British. Oh, yeah. My mm -hmm. actions ensure that my I name will endure to the end. Ben Baden. That was a little creepy. I did it perfect that time, didn't I? Well, almost perfect. You did very well. But remember, this must remain a secret. Do not discuss it with anyone. Yes, Ethel. And don't forget, you have a math exam tomorrow. Oh yes, Ethel. And be sure to brush your teeth. Yes, Ethel. Good night. <laughs> I know. Man. Well, Ethel is the teacher. Okay, so I'm going to save some time by doing the puzzle right here. Earlier, we learned the password is Pergamentum Exit. Welcome, my uh, get Don't rid of dirty stuff? I think, I don't know. Yeah. The parrot knows Latin, we can ask him. Her, so her. Know Latin too. I know, grab my, see that black book there, the Latin dictionary? Exit mean goes out, just like in English. Okay. Well, we'll the Latin figure it out. So here it is, this is going to be so I need to find all 13 ghosts in the time. I can do this. This is a time challenge. You mustn't waste any time. Our little chums won't stay visible for long. So, on your mark, get set, go! I actually brought my Latin dictionary out because we were looking up things earlier with Albuquerque. It means, like, white oak. Got one. So it was named after the trees. Ooh, there's one. This requires me memory, remembering stuff. Ugh. Mm. Ooh, I found what pergamento means. Okay, what is it? It says a uh, noun that was just cleaned out, out sweeping, rubbish, filth, uberis. Uberis? I don't know, it says uberis. I'll have to take or a look at it when I'm not uberis. playing a okay. game. All right, I won't bug you. No, no, no. I said I'll take a look at what okay. Uberus is. Did, did you just put the dictionary away and close it? So I now didn't I... close it. I okay. left okay. it open. Okay, is good. Right there? Good. Sorry, this is a time challenge. Otherwise, I would totally, oh, like, no, give up. You you know how time challenges yeah, work. I know. You gotta, you gotta finish it. Gotta finish it within the... Uh... <laughs> what are people in the studio audience? You can be in charge of the studio audience and telling me all the funny comments. Awesome. Someone else picked out more lazy animation. That's Casey from Danger on Deception Island. What? What's Casey? Casey wasn't a character we actually saw, though. Well, yeah, but somebody caught that they were uh, reusing a dyslexy music. Oh, same music? Something like that. <sighs> I can't anyway. really want to read what these comments no, are. No, you need to finish your time challenge. Yeah, three to That's... go. Three to go? Okay, oh, there's one. Oh, I see one. There you go. Uh, one's at the top of the stairs and one is besides Nancy's room. How do you know that? Because I've played this game before. Oh, okay. I should quit asking you silly questions. <laughs> Ghost number 13. Okay, okay. So what were the comments about me? What's Casey from Danger on Deception Island? I mean, it's the same voice actor. <laughs> oh, that's what they're recognizing. Yeah, same voice actor. He's totally doing oh, the same voice. Oh, okay. You can tell that Casey is the same voice as Andy, Andy Jason from that game as well, if you listen very closely. Congratulations, you're one of the few people who have seen the 13 ghosts of Blackmoor Manor. As a reward, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Oh, means clean, right. Yep. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'm sure, uh, sorry, I was looking stuff up. But a word to the wise, if you're wearing a hat, hang on to it, have fun! 
Oh, so you mean Urbis. Yeah, that means city or world. Oh, okay. Ur Urbis. And then this live in Tac, that means uh, Livy wrote about it and Tacitus uses it as well. Oh, okay. So, I mean, it's just referring to who's, who's the author that uses it. That's all. <laughs> okay, so who are you going to call Ghostbusters? Oh. That's what people were saying. Heck yeah, I think they're smart. I, mean, I would have called ghost, but, but they can't call the one guy that died, though, the, um, the skinny guy with the glasses. Yeah. They just have to call Dan Aykroyd instead. I don't think he was as funny as the skinny guy with glasses that died recently. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Looks like it's time for another glow stick. Another time challenge is with the glow stick. Only the blameless shall pass here. All so this is the curse of Blackmore Manor. Peace. Tooth and nail shall grow long, and hair shall turn coarse, till their aspect be as loathsome as their cold hearts. Prove thy worthiness, and memorialize here the innocent one so wrongly condemned for saving lives. Else consider thyself right and truly cursed. So this is the curse. Uh, Linda saw this, and that's why she's turning into a werewolf. Oh. She's turning into a werewolf, is she? Yeah. I find them pleasant. Yeah, it's it's very painful. It happened to me once. Only on Saturdays though. Writing to people in the studio audience. Okay, so I think Jane's lesson should be over at like uh, let's say four p.m. So I have to get another Jane. Oh, hey, hey, this is a puzzle you can do. Oh. I don't know. This sounds like another opportunity Hi, for people to make fun of me. Jane, I saw you and Ethel performing some kind yeah, of but ritual. I, yeah. What were you doing? Huh? I don't know what you're talking about. You and Ethel were pouring oil or something down some kind of drain. So this is teamwork oh, here. Or a daft one. Michael and his girlfriend Imagine are helping. Imagine me and Ethel running around in the middle of the night pouring oil down drains. I didn't say anything about it taking place in the middle of the night. Well, uh, isn't that when weird rituals usually take place? In the dead of night? Okay, so Jane anyway, is saying she doesn't know anything about dream. this. Believe me, this castle can sometimes give you nightmares. Could I get another glow oh, stick? Gosh. Yes, okay, look, what's this game rule, I need to play This is a match three game. Oh, you know, I can do match four. Get set, go! Easy. Okay, so oh. you click on, and you can move them anywhere across the board. Oh, really? Yeah. That doesn't seem fair. Oh. Why won't it let me move that? Oh, there it goes. Okay. You just must have misclicked somewhere. And you can use There's the shuffle button whenever on. you want. You just need to get over 2,500 points. 2,500. That sounds kind of high. Man, they didn't even like... Okay, they did code them the same color. Oh, let's see. So if you get four in a row or something like that, you get extra time added to the clock. I think that's what the rule said. Oh, okay. I like four in a row. That sounds like I should tone stuff to get four in a row possibilities. Let's see. I don't think I'm doing this very efficiently. Let's see. Hmm. And then there's... I mean, they're not always... Okay. That one there. Oh, okay. Let's see. Um, and if you can't ever see a match, I always... <laughs> 600! Oh my gosh. Compared to my high score of 2700, you know okay? What? I, 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 well, here. try again. Don't, no, try again, try oh. again. Go, go, go. Try again. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm... Oh, gosh. Man. All this thinking and doing stuff and... Oh, let's see. Yeah, we'll make her do it three times, and if she can't then, do it, I'll just take over. Yeah, And then I'll go and fail on my me. first time just to make her feel good. No, you don't need to fail on your first time. I can... Oh, 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 snap, look. I'm going to make a four in a row here. Yeah. Because I planned oh, that oh. so that I could make that work. Okay, and then this should go here, and then this, um, uh, those things, those 
They oh, these things. Okay. Yeah, see, so you're getting the hang of it. Yeah, just come along. Let's see. Um, where is? Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, that's right. Go and plan it out. Make a space so I can chuck them in. Oh, oh, I got one. There's the skeleton, gross skeleton thing. Who, like, thought of these logos? These are kind of nasty looking. They're petroglyphs from Arizona. Oh, like the ones like the Indians did? Yeah. Oh, those are kind of cool to go see. Yeah, I, I've actually been there, so um, I'll show you the pictures later. Oh, okay. Cool. Or you can look at the picture. Let me see that. Somewhere here on my iPad. I think I saw some in Colorado once when I was there. Those were kind of cool. Awesome. Let's see. Did what you win? I, I have oh, two, four, 50 five. 50 points away from the score. Oh, you've got to try again. <sighs> okay. All right. I can do this try again thing. Saying. Okay, you should respond to them. They're saying candy. Candy um, crush. Is somebody chewing bubblegum? Yes, candy yes. is chewing bubblegum. Fine, I'll like spit it out no, no, momentarily. No, no, I'll spit it out. Keep going. Um, let's see. Aww. Oh, look, four in a row opportunity. Oh, I have a picture of the Rio Grande, too. Rio Grande? Oh, the, um, the river. Did you catch anyone swimming across it? No, I mean, this is a, this is a very dirty, bad part of it. Oh. You know, on a swimming part of the Rio Grande? Yeah. Uh, Rio Grande is flowing and the stars are shining. See, that would be fun to do. Go and, like, go swim in the Rio Grande and see if the, um, see if you get profiled going across. <laughs> Let's see. This... Um, oh. yes. and then there's a... Uh, oh, she's got it this time, folks. Oh, that could have been a four in a while. I'm, I'm just trying to survive. Let's see, um... Curly Q. Curly Q. Um, shoot. Oh, Curly Q. Okay. Oh, did I get it? You did it! Woohoo! You won! You won, Katie. Hooray! Woo I left only 100 Woo points away from and yours. Here's oh, your cool. reward. Oh, there's some petroglyphs. Yeah, so you can scroll around and check out the petroglyphs. I, I guess we that should one check has out. That like a smiley face. You I know? Wish I could show that one. Here, can you like do a video and show that one? That's kind of cool. I should cool. get going. Ta ta. Uh, that's totally. That's a legit thing to do, unless you see just a plain white. Screen. Can I see it? You can kind of. They can kind of see that. Yeah, it sort of looks like a smile. But I, like I've got like a hundred different pictures, so let's not actually. Okay, no, just the one plain. What flavor of gum? Oh yeah, yeah. You you, you need to talk about the gum. So okay. what did we do? Okay, I did that in order to get a uh, the 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 glow stick. Okay, left, right, right, left, left, right. Oh, is that not the answer? I don't remember. I've got my piece of paper though, it should help me. Right, right, left, right. I need something else for this. Left, right. Okay. Um give me a second, scroll up there, please. Okay. I need to see the top of that so I can actually solve that puzzle. Can't you just solve it for memory? No, I can't. I don't have this one memorized. This is no. Stop there. Stop okay, there. Stop right there. <laughs> can't you see that this is clearly the puzzle I have on the no, screen? No, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the daily thing. Oh, you're not even paying attention to what no, I'm doing. No, I'm not. I was looking at the cool comments. They're much more interesting. Okay, well, I had a picture of the solution written out, and that's what I was trying to do here. Okay, pay attention to the comments now. Yeah. Are are the uh, are the petroglyph pictures? I'll just let you know what I'm doing. I'm going in the wrong direction. That's why I was doing there. And next I solved the rest of the triangle puzzle. Remember this puzzle, Katie? Oh, you have to do this one again? Why? 
I'm doing the second half of the puzzle, remember? It looks like the other half of the puzzle is on the other side of this wall. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to go back and finish the other half. So you have to work between the two halves. Which just isn't that bad unless you're silly and you mess up super huge. So if you hear somebody typing, that's Katie typing on a computer. I'm responding. To comments and stuff. I'm trying. If I can spell. Okay. You don't know how to spell? No, I don't spell. Spell check is my spelling. That's not how you spell my name. I didn't spell your name. Ugly, Katie, your ugly name is goober. Not <laughs> what? What? That is not how you spell my name at all. Fine. That's okay. not even close to spelling Michael. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, hey, I solved the puzzle. Hooray. Aren't you proud of me? Wow. Looks like I won't be needing any more of Jane's glow sticks. So I don't need glow sticks anymore. I have a magic glowing rock, which seems like it would be dangerous and kill me. Uh-oh. Oh, where'd it go? Uh, you, you, you went down to the bottom of the page. Oops. Okay. So, look, look, look. Here, look. It's just like anything else. You've used oh, computers before, oh right? Sorry, it didn't expect it to move because I didn't touch anything. Oh, oh my okay. gosh, the room is moving. Okay, I'm going to solve this puzzle the fast way. This is a maze puzzle. And I've never liked this particular puzzle. Weird symbol. Maybe knowing what that snake symbol means will help me figure out what the others mean. What we have to do is go back to Nigel, the British man, and have him tell us what that snake means so Nancy can look up the solution on her cell phone. Hmm. Now she's paying attention to all my fans on YouTube and no attention yeah, to me. Yeah, that's right. <sighs> this relationship isn't going to work here. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, they're just more interesting. Yep. <laughs> okay, look at this. This is interesting, Katie. Remember about the woman I told you, Linda, who's turning into a werewolf? Yes. Oh, yeah. Selena's turning into a werewolf. Is that the kid or the... Linda's grown. No, Linda. So check her. Nice check out her werewolf. Ew. That's a gross hand. It's because she's a werewolf. She looks like that, uh, you know, those people in uh, Mexico that had, like, the hair that grew all over their body, and then, like, the Guinness Book of World Records is, like, the hairiest family. It kind of looks like that. Why were you looking up hairy families? I love it. It was on, like, that show. It was in, like, the late 90s, the Guinness Book of World Records show that used to be on. Sure, sure. Okay, so Katie loves hairy people. No. Um, Whatever. Okay, let me solve uh, another puzzle here. Um, or should I solve that one? Yeah, you... That puzzle. No, you can go back to answering things. I'll try to figure out the uh, puzzle on my own instead of looking up the answer on the internet like yes. a cheater. Your memoirs were quite intriguing. Will they be published soon? Well, no. But I figure that I might as well get them out of the way so that once I do become famous, they'll be ready. <laughs> I want to cook on how will you become famous. How will you become famous? There you go. Once I write my book on the Pendulums, it's sure to be a bestseller. Especially if I, if I, uh, get some good press on it. I don't think he's going to become famous. Those were boring. What do you think of Ethel Bosney? I think she's an odd lot, that one. She has no formal background in pedagogy or scholarship. I would be a much better influence on Jane were I her tutor. But Mrs. Drake insists on employing Ethel. Ethel. Do you know what the symbol of a snake eating its tail signifies? The Ouroboros? It's a very old image and is usually associated with alchemy. You really do oh, come up with the strangest questions, Nancy. I'll let you get back you. to your work. Thanks Goodbye. for the information. You could just say, hey, I'm spitting out my gum now and not, not explain that it's old and nasty. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, okay, so, what was this? Right, right, left, right, left, left, right. Well, this is good. Now I no longer have to pay attention to the studio audience. Now they feel like they're loved. Oh, good. But I won't be reading any of their fun comments out loud, so... Oh, well. 
I'll just have to come up with fun comments. <laughs> I love Sarah Ann's comment. That's awesome. What, what was it? <laughs> so Kitty loves Harry people, which is ironic because Michael shaved his head. Aww. Yeah, I did sort of. <laughs> I don't have a lot of hair on my head anymore. It's okay. It'll grow back. Someday. Someday. <laughs> Someday not fast enough. Aw. Poor Michael. Do, 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 do. Where am I? I am like stuck. No, I'm all okay. Oh, come on, really? Stupid thing. Okay. So I am looking up the internet. So basically, Nancy's phone. What a lame phone. This is 2004! <laughs> this is 2004! Okay, now it looks more like an iPod. I mean, iPad. I mean, iPhone. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we learn, and we learn how to make various alchemy things. So they want us to make that particular stuff. So what are the ingredients according to what we saw on the phone? It's, yeah, it's not the best. Okay, so <laughs> we need to make aqua fortis, which is strong water, and that's made from vitriol and nitra. <laughs> Funny comments? Um... Vitriol and Nitra. Yay! Okay, the second one is Aqua Regia, which is salt, uh, vitriol, nitra, and salt again. So this is kind of educational, right? They kind of tried to be educational at this point yeah, in the whatever. series history. Trying. <laughs> hey, I, I, I will make a Philosopher's Stone... Or Sorcerer's Stone. Yeah, I'm American. I'm making a Philosopher's Stone. Mercury is Cinnabar and Fire. So which Cinnabar? Wasn't that in another Nancy Drew game? It, Cinnabar? It was in uh, Secret of the Scarlet Hand. Oh, okay. And um, Fire. Which one's Fire? Fire? Do you know what symbol Fire is? Symbol of Fire? No, 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 no. Okay, which... No, 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 don't do a YouTube search because then... I'm not doing a YouTube search. What are you doing? I'm typing saying that I like bangers and mash too. Bangers and mash are delicious. Okay, I thought you were, you were going away. Okay. No, I'm still like half paying attention to you. So basically not, not very different from normal. Mean. Anyway, okay, so are which, you... Which symbol would be fire? I can't recognize these symbols. It'd be nice if we didn't have so many of these extra symbols. Yeah, help me out here, people. How do I restart? Uh... Hey, look, you got fire. <laughs> you got the fire you were looking for, though. I didn't know that was oh. a game over sequence. Oh, ouch. Snap. <laughs> now I have to solve this puzzle again from the beginning. Oh, Aww. sad. I wish I had my hardcore notes on how to do that. Did you, like, accidentally pause the video five hours ago? No. Did I? Yeah. I, think I you... did? Oh, my gosh. <sighs> uh... Yep. Okay, so... Shoot. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Sorry for um, uh, dying here. Let's take a let's take a minor break and I will look up the answers. I've got the answers on my computer. <laughs> it turns out my notes were defective, so let's let's try that again. See, my official version of those notes is on my computer, which is gone. Oh, sad. Uh, vitriol and nitra again. Vitriol and nitra, and then um, three times of salt. So salt was. This. Next is cinnabar and fire, and somebody says triangle is fire, and then cinnabar would be uh, this. Hooray! Thank you. Who was that again? Never mind. Okay, vinegar and distillation. Distillation is that, but what's vinegar? Yeah. And final, final thing is liquor heptas. 
hepatis, sulfur, sulfur, and then quicklime. Salamoniac. <laughs> it's one of my vocabulary words in class. It's awesome. That's salamoniac. That's salt of something. Uh, salamoniac. So that looks like this. And distillation again was the plus. What is? You're asking the wrong person. I'm looking. I mean, I've got the picture. This is okay. this is the screen that shows up well, on her cell vinegar. phone. Distilled vigor. has got the the one with the two. Um, the what is it? The plus with the the four. Dots. Okay, distillation is the M with the little fish. Nice. We did it. Okay, so now we are in the uh, secret area of the Pendlins. And you didn't die! Yay! I, I think that's something this which should like be taken as a no given rather than course. something which should be applauded, but... Oh my this gosh, like the Kron has, like, Kataiko. Oh. Remember we were talking about that? What were we talking oh, about? Yeah, I can't like the, see. Oh, your hand is in the it. way. There you go. You got it. That, that's so funny. Oh. It's like the... Do we call our name uh, Kachel or Kataichel? Like, like the band, like the... Angelina sort of thing, or what's it called? I I, I liked. Or was it K Fed? My Katie, no, my Clay. Wow, our names don't go together no, well. It looks like I'm a gonna have to date somebody tomorrow. named Rachel then. You know, you keep saying that. Oh. Yeah. McRachel? No, that doesn't work. Well, I know. Let's go do your taxes. No. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So they, got, they got these swords on the wall. Can't I just use them? Okay, so uh, we have the clues for like a gajillion puzzles here, and you could have solved all these puzzles ahead of time, but this is just, this is this is why you needed to go inside the forge, just for everybody. I'm trying to play this game legitimately instead of solving the puzzles ahead of time. My dear initiate, Penelope Penvalin. See, these British people, they have far too much time, free time on their hands, and they've been building these complicated series of puzzles over the course of hundreds of years, yeah, to protect their great treasure. For one big drink of Is water, that their big treasure, you? that statue? No, that's 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 part of the puzzle. Their oh, treasure is okay. inside here. Oh, okay, well, why don't you open it? Because I don't have the key. Well, why don't you have the key? I need to create the key, Katie. Oh, okay, well, why don't you do that? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. It's I, 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 it, the forge. Remember, so the forge, the forge does not have stuff. The forge has not been lit. Okay, let's just solve this puzzle then. With this puzzle, what you want to do is have Aelis uh, conquer the winds. Like the big guy out there just took a step. I don't particularly like this puzzle. It's a randomized puzzle. Looks like some wings are stronger than others. <laughs> so to solve this puzzle, what you have to do is um, start with the left winds. Be careful walking down here, because uh, ah, come on, left wind. Don't worry, you can you can you can stop paying attention to me. Don't worry, I'm Katie. I'm paying attention to you. I'm not doing anything interesting. Wait, why did that work? This is randomized. You, this wait, is you, this is randomized, Katie. Are you trying to get to the statue? No, I, I, my statue guy is trying to cover up the other statue guys. Oh, okay. Hmm. What are you trying to get to with this puzzle? I just want to conquer all the winds because this will this will make wind go to the forge. Oh, so okay. I can make that top secret key. Mm, gotta have the wind to the forge because it goes and it accelerates the fire here. You actually know why there are forges and winds and stuff? Well, yeah, that's how my fireplace works. Oh. And that's why it's got that fan under there because the fan goes and it um, pumps the pumps the air into the fireplace and it makes the fire bigger because you need the, the air to go and fuel the chemical reaction to create the fire. Right, chemical reactions, fire, awesome. Anyway. <laughs> So it looks like I need to stop the bottom wind first, because that guy's a little bit stronger than this west wind. I hate this puzzle. Yeah, I can understand why you wouldn't like it. <laughs> well, no, no, let's put someone brutal on there. 
Oh, see, now I died. Because it's a randomized puzzle. So it's very easy to die on this puzzle. Hey, hey, I, I, I got the bottom guy by pure luck. Now I'm going to be careful and go in between those black spots because black spots equal death. If you get pushed to one of those black spots, you die. No, no. Okay, so I'm trying to get to the top row. One up, two up. Now I just hope he doesn't blow me down here. Okay, now I hope to go down and conquer the guy on the top and hope Mr. One on the West. I forget what the West Wind's name is. Something like Hephaestus. No, Hesperus, Hesperus. Hesperus means West in Greek. Going to the I don't know. I just remember Hesperia was their name for Spain. It literally means west. They weren't being very creative with their names. <laughs> and there's a poem about it. <laughs> Farewell, Hesperus. Well, I remember it because it was, it was in Greek class. And, you know, it's a story. It's the, the Ajax by Sophocles. And in the Greek, it says, oh, he went to Hesperus. And I'm like, wait, he went to Spain? And my teacher just face palmed. It's like, no, Michael, he went west. He didn't go all the way to Spain in five minutes. Oh, well. Okay, well, let's solve the, another puzzle. This is going to be the Mercury puzzle, which gets rid of uh, Nigel. I can see into the library. So you see how the statue is, statue is pointed towards Nigel, statue mm -hmm. of Mercury? We kind of want it facing us so we can steal his little wand thing. Hmm. Are we trying to steal it without a Nigel looking? Is that the plan? No, no, no. See, we moved it? Mm hmm We're going to scare him. Okay. We can scare him. By making annoying sounds with the fingers? And he runs away. Okay, it looks like the statue is facing me, right? Okay. I'm going to presume that is a good solution. I know there's somewhere, one of those books in the uh, area tells us what to do to solve that one. Hello? Hi, it's Ned. Hey, Ned. What's it's up? It's Nancy's boyfriend. I could say I've been studying and needed a break, but the truth is I've been dying to hear from you going on there what isn't going on here i'm listening wait you're saying that i sing too much i did not say that you sing too much J okay fine i'll never sing again well for one thing i discovered some kind of medieval alchemy lab <laughs> really where <laughs> under the awesome. manor and i mean <laughs> way under the manor in fact i may be the only yeah, well, one in this place who knows about it. what's in it it's making well, fun of you saying you're not as good as this chinchilla treasure but all there is in there is an old forge Forge? Isn't the thing you use to heat metal and make swords and stuff? Right. So what are you going to do now? Nancy's boyfriend well, is so actually, considerate. the forge looks like something I, I saw in this strange book so Jane has in her room. <laughs> you, are, you and I already had, had this conversation thoroughly. before Probably about him just been being kind of this the token boyfriend. That's the thing. It looks like oh. it has been used recently. He's being good I mean, in this game. Compared to all the other people you can call, he's the best. Mm. Would someone be using a Can we call the Hardy Boys, maybe? Cool. Somebody had mentioned that in the chat window earlier really about calling the Hardy Boys. That was a key? while ago. No key. Well, there you go. Maybe that's what has to be forged. The key that goes in that keyhole? <laughs> <laughs> so, so Ned is telling us that we need to make the key Linda's for the keyhole, which is good. That's right. She has it. this really Let's weird see. picture book in her room. What do you mean a picture book? I mean pictures are all that's in this book. No words, just these strange hand-drawn images. And the book is old, like it's been around for centuries. Old Drawings, book. huh? Maybe it's a, that's some kind of an ancient instruction manual. You know, for people who didn't know how to read. Could be. 
When I asked her about it, Jane said her grandfather gave it to her. And too. then... <laughs> and then what? I don't want you to and sing. And then she changed oh. the subject. What are you gonna sing? Like an oh, ode to Nigel or something like that? <laughs> There's gotta be like a, a like... What's that? Like a... Another... I think Linda like, what's turning a British into a song? Of I don't know. I was, I was preparing. Like, King in the 17th British century, Eleanor oh, yeah. Pendleton was King rumored Wences to have turned her husband into some kind of East creature East for discovering so that. So that would be. Uh, but you want that too, like a Nigel taking Nigel down, sort of thing. Anyway, well, we're gonna take room, Nigel <laughs> down. He <laughs> is such a baby. He'll cry to his chinchilla and never have a girlfriend. But the point is, I got a glimpse of her hand. Oh, oh, and now they're talking about the hairy hand. So I, I hope people who are like want to hear Ned are enjoying this. <laughs> they're just reading what he's saying because they can't hear us. They all know that these are, they, they look like they're smart girls. They know Ned's like kind of a dork. I'll talk to you soon. I'm already looking forward to it. Already looking forward to it. What a cheesy thing to say. Well, look, the only people we can call are Ned and Home, which is an answering machine. So, really, it's Ned and Linda's I think, mother. I think they should have the option to call 211, just like the, the homeless people do, and then you go, This is the girl residence. Please leave a message at the beach. <laughs> <You know. laughs> In the first game, they had a bunch of phone numbers that you could call, which is craziness. But here, it's more like if you make a phone number, it's, it's always going to give you the, oops, sorry, that doesn't exist. Even if you're calling Aww. yourself. Oh, that's sad. That's, by the way, that's not your phone number. I know that is not my phone <laughs> okay. number. My phone Just number so is... People aren't, like, randomly calling that and harassing some poor person. Like, no, this is not Michael Gray. <laughs> I forget what I'm doing at this point. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll solve this puzzle. Is that a puzzle? Yeah. Puzzle like. So this is the puzzle, um... Ooh, Madame Butterfly. Yeah, this... Oh, is that actually a thing? Yeah, it's a musical, Puccini. Oh, oh. Sorry, not a musical, it's an opera. Her mother is an opera singer, so that's why she's there. Jane's mother. I was about to say that my mother. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't mean your mother, Katie. <laughs> opera singer! Okay, here we go, I sing. Did I use my Johnny Rudder? Oh, right. Okay, so I need to use my this Johnny Rudder. Up in there. Okay, so I use the butter to loosen a keyhole so I can put the key in and solve this longest puzzle. I need to get all of the pieces in place in, in the order which is specified by the thing on Jane's door. Okay, so let's, so the moon goes in the bottom left-hand corner, which means I'm just gonna have to move everything out. Here we go. Katie, do you not know how computers work? No, I don't. I oh. only spend eight bloody hours on them every day. Ooh, bloody. Oh. You're working with this British thing very I nicely, am. Katie. Very British. I know. It's just, I'm so impressed. So beautiful. Knows British words. So these four things are in place, and next I'm going to need the hands. So I probably should get the sun here in the bottom. I know this that computer is weird with it, yes. This is not it needs ideal. a mouse. But I'm using the mouse to play video games right now. I apologize. Okay, so there, I got charity in place. Next is going to be the angel. Ugh. Angel. And then this, and then this. Okay. Puzzle basically solved. I got my first of like the six keys. How many people hated that puzzle? Everyone's got, I hate this puzzle. I hate this puzzle. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Did you notice I saw that puzzle very well, very quickly, though? I know it's that a way, horrible puzzle. That way, like, people didn't have to sit and suffer through it. That's why. I see. Can I take this? Oh, one of the things controls his eyes. We need his eyes to look up. Why? Because otherwise he's noticing us stealing the stealing the, the wand thing. Oh, are his eyes like a camera? 
That's just how this puzzle works. Wait, is the background of his computer his face? I know we went through this earlier, but that seems really, like, vain. That's <laughs> himself. <laughs> his, the... his, his face is his own background on his computer. Well, nobody else wants to look at his face, so he oh, might as well. Poor Nigel. He kind of looks like Harry Potter. I'm sure there's a Hermione out there for him somewhere, you know? Oh, wait. She goes for God. Yeah, yeah, she goes for the comedy <laughs> relief. Ow. <laughs> Okay, well, I think the right hand was the, the one which controlled the eyes, so we're solving this puzzle. Nigel's just going to be conveniently gone until we solve the puzzle. Oh, that's convenient. Okay, so we tried the uh, the middle finger. We'll see if that one works. I think last time I did the pinky finger. That sounds vulgar. Is it the middle finger we would Or why wouldn't it be like the ring finger? I mean, that would be very like symbolic there. Or the pointer finger. I don't know which finger works. We're, we're going to see if this actually works or not. Oh. Okay. You can do that. Nigel's still not here. Okay, the this key is... to that point. Oh, there we go. The middle... Look, Katie, this is what happens. Oh, okay. When you give him the middle finger, Mercury just rolls his eyes. <laughs> nice. So that's how you solve the puzzle. See? Aww, See? Points to the software developers on that one. <laughs> okay, so now I've got more puzzles to solve. Um, I'm supposed to know there's a missing telescope in my room, but I don't think Nancy was smart enough. Actually, scroll down. Okay. Yeah, all the way down. I just need to see that text. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So I'm actually supposed to hear a song, which is about, um... There's no drinking gourd in there. <laughs> is that oh. a constellation? Yeah, it's part of a constellation, but I guess it's that's not that's an American thing. That isn't a British thing. You don't know the Follow the Drinking Gourd song? Sing it! No. Oh. <laughs> but Katie, our audience, wanted to hear singing. They want to hear you singing the English Club President song. I've already sung that one. Ugh. Oh, I see. They have to go and watch that old video to go hear it if they want to hear it. This is not a good time. No, I mean, I've already sung it like today. Oh, oh, okay. So then they've had enough, is what you're saying. You've you, had need a... you need to cut them off. You've had enough of the English Club President song. <laughs> Watch my watch my videos. Somebody will put like a link here. I'll like put a thing for them to go put a link to the drinking gourd song. That way you'll know what I'm talking about. Follow up the drinking gourd. No, that's not how it goes. Well, I can't get I can't get Ethel and Jane to sing the song, so I'll just solve this puzzle by myself. But the song lets you know what specific chart you're looking for. So this is missing the right fourth. That's the lion. The dragon is going to be all red. We're, we're matching it up with symbols on Bridget's um, coat of arms as well. Is this the lynx? The lynx is like all black, so that means I cover this entire thing up. I like this. It's just like a three-dimensional puzzle. It's got three dimensions. Snap. Bunny. Except like we never a, look at the bottom. It looks like a child's box. If you think about it logistically, why would someone go and make a fancy ornate box like that? It seems like a waste of time and money. And put it on a fancy velvet chair like that. But come on. Don't you have something better to do with your time? Wonder what British this people? is. She's hiding this, which we desperately need. But why would you hide it in such a fancy location? That seems like a fast way to get it stolen. Why would you hide it like... You know, because it's hard to open, so this oh, is her this is her um, <laughs> coat of arms, which lets us know that. And we see, you can see how this was part of the puzzle, right? Mm -hmm. We're trying to duplicate that, also based on the correct star chart, which is whichever one here. Um, don't know, don't know. What was it with the different seasons? Going up. That can be useful. I wonder what's the text. there. That's too far up. Okay, is this what you want? Yeah. So this is a zodiac puzzle here. This was also contained in the Book of Clues. It says, hey, we need to uh, use her telescope lens in order to put it in places. Funny, funny jokes. So you can look this up on the internet. They want you to sing Katy Perry's Roar. I don't know which one is that. That's the cool one. The one that the cancer girl sang that was like all over CNN. 
That was a cool one. Can you hum it for me? Oh, yeah. can, you, can you tell me what the words <laughs> no, are? absolutely not. Someone will post a link to it. I have faith in these people. <laughs> well, they didn't post the links to the Drinking Someone Gourd song. Someone posted the lyrics to it. So. Well, did you read them to me? Cause no, I didn't read them to you. Here, I'll scroll up. Because then I'll never be able to know what those lyrics are, and I won't know okay, if I know that says, song. Okay, it follow, it goes, follow, 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 follow the Drinking Gourd. Follow the drinking gourd. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. No, Wherever, no, ever, no. there was, the, the, the drinking sleigh, gourd is one because... The slaves in the south did not follow the follow the yellow brick road to freedom. It's a song the slaves all like thank each other in the south as a way to escape to the north. Oh. You know, follow the northern star there to escape to Canada. Yeah, okay, I, that seems familiar. I only remember the, the one they sing when people die, which you're not supposed to sing. Oh, because it's not PC, uh, was it PC anymore? Well, no, it's about death. I mean, you can oh. sing it, it's just you get cursed if you sing the death song when nobody's dying, I think. Is that a voodoo thing? Wasn't that the superstition? Uh, Could be. Hi, Nancy. What, what's the southern song about death? People, we keep asking you about all these songs. <laughs> Somebody posted something that's hey, a lot. I'm not going to watch a YouTube room. video okay. in the middle of making a YouTube video. We'll have to like, post follow-up, go and like, look that stuff. I knew you were going to say that. Just pull it up on my iPad. Okay, what's the game? Let's see how quick your reflexes are. I'll time you. If you get the puzzle done in Katie, time, you solved this puzzle. Oh. If not, then you'll have to more. try again. Oh, Katie Perry, okay. Oh, yeah. pieces. On your mark, get set, go! Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. That doesn't seem like enough. and trying. I don't know how he does this. Oh, crud. Oh, all the pieces look the same. Fan. Oh, gosh. It's a weird, weird jigsaw puzzle. Nobody it's so hard it. to even see the pieces. I know, pieces. I know. It's horrible. It's horrible. Okay, so is that why you're having me, like, do this? Yes. Ugh. Sorry, everybody. This is okay, just... so... Yeah, you'd better apologize to them. <laughs> uh, this one kind of... Four minutes. Oh, and then doesn't... It's supposed to rotate... Oh, okay. It rotates if you right-click it. This is just getting worse. It's not gonna. This isn't gonna happen. I'm sorry. Ugh. Man. I don't even have like a picture of what the puzzle is supposed to look like with this thing. Look, they're all like these swirly pieces here, and none of them even ugh, kinda makes sense. Man. Ooh, okay. Okay, there's this like purple thing here. Maybe that goes with three minutes. Ugh, okay. This isn't even... Uh, yeah, I recognize that song now. Okay, now you know what they're talking about? Yeah, I don't like that song, though. So I like some... that song. I've got the eye of the tiger, the fire, the da 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 ra, ra, Okay, you need to take over. I can't do this. <sighs> Fine, you go it back. Is... Okay, well... I'm gonna go hide. It, it, did anybody figure out what the um, you can right click to rotate pieces too? I, I finally figured that out. It was kind of sad, and embarrassing. Too bad. Okay, I'll restart it. Do you want to and play then you game? can solve it very quickly. No, tell her no. I don't want to play any game. This, do we have to solve the puzzle? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Can we play that game again for the telescope? Sure. Yes. You don't need to move that anymore. Okay. That's good. So, On your mark, get set. So what was the Southern Death Song? I don't know. Here, I'll look up on my iPhone. Five minutes. 
Because uh, I know it from uh, reading that, that that's where I get my bad southern accent from. Bad southern accent? What are your, what are your origins for your bad southern accent? Is it like Georgian or Alabama, Louisiana? Uh, Appaloosa. Appalachia? Appalachia, yeah. Yeah. So like, you're talking about like Even Kentucky, though he's supposed to, Kentucky, Kentucky Appalachia, exactly. Okay, so not West Virginia Appalachia? Yeah, so um, it was bad luck is uh, said uh, just one of the random curses. Just bad luck if somebody hears the uh, somebody singing this. Bad okay, luck so here I'll try to follow the drinking gourd song, and then I'll find the um, the death song. Let's see. Well, no, I don't want to have it like play during the video. So. Fine. Okay. Because otherwise we'll get like smacked with copyright infringements oh, and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. I mean, it's okay oh, if my... I'm singing Katy Perry badly, because nobody will be able to recognize that. Oh, but they'll be able to do Follow the Drinking Guard, a song that has no owner. I'm sure Disney will have... Wait, wait a minute. That's <laughs> our version of the song. Yes, because they don't own particularly the song, but they do own that particular rendition of it. Of Follow the Drinking Guard? Or the Death Song? Uh, Wait, is the Destiny and um the the Frog Prince? I don't know. Oh, okay. That's why I thought you meant like Disney would own it. Oh, man, this is such a bad puzzle. <laughs> I can sing that one. I know that song. Do you know the like full version of it? There's a full there's version? There's a full version of it, because, like, there's, you know, go twinkle, twinkle, little star, I wonder what you are. Three minutes. Know, up above the world so high, like, like a, a diamond, diamond in the, the sky. sky. Yeah. Yes, and then it goes, when the blazing sun is gone, when the, um... When the blazing sun is gone. When the light no more shines upon... When um, you're dead and the light doesn't shine no, upon like, you. I don't know, there's, like, a full... I don't remember it now. I got this yeah, I can't think won. of it. Good show. Sorry. Okay, well, I'll have to look up. I should get going. Ta-ta. Next time we have a puzzle where I can switch out with you, then I'll... Switch out? I mean, like... Then I'll have to look up the... Because I, I, I wasted that one looking up. Oh, I know a puzzle I can switch out with. Uh, uh... You know how to play Go Fish, right? I know how to play Go Fish. Is this, like, the Go Fish version? Yeah. How about the Stop creepy fortune teller that has no weird, has a weird shaped body? Well, it's it's a machine which was made several hundred years ago. Um, That's no excuse for it looking creepy and weird. <sighs> I like their giant indoor green hats. They kind of have one of those in like the Adams Family, don't they? Like the original Adams Family yes. movie. Yes. I think Ethel is trying to recruit Jane into some kind of secret society. Oh, for heaven's sake, child! Where did you ever get such nonsense? I saw Ethel and Jane performing this ritual in the Great Hall in the middle of the night. Poppycock! A ritual in the middle of the night? Young lady, I will not abide such wild stories. Imagine Ethel Bossany recruiting my grandniece into some kind of secret society. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> Next thing you'll be saying, the, Linda has been um, cursed by some roving spirit, huh. or that we have ghosts Lady prowling bug, about. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away home. Your house is on fire, and your children are gone. All except once with Charlotte, Anne, and... Uh, I don't remember. I'd like to play the card oh, machine in the Great Hall, but it's broken. It's not broken. I removed its crack, as it was proving to be too much of a distraction for Jane. I suppose I Oh, don't worry, you I can keep reading the comments. Okay, it's going to be like five minutes. I love her just kind of talking, and then you're just going to do what you're going to do. Sure. Okay. Do you see that hodgepodge of plants over there? They're my prize seedlings. I had them perfectly arranged in that box so I could easily move them about to catch the light. Unfortunately, Jane took all of them out when I wasn't yeah, looking. This is a boring and now, puzzle. for the life of me, I cannot get them back in the box so that they all fit. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? The book while I puzzle about from that Danger on Deception Island again. Is this like the same? Uh, what's it called? Happy. Dimensions too? No, it's completely different Remember, dimensions. Oh, okay, but it's the same box. style of puzzle. Same puzzle. Put everything in the uh, everything into place, and of course, you can rotate things. You do not have the tune right. 
And then a lot of people are saying poppycock. Is that like a reference to something? She just said poppycock, and oh, it's funny to oh, say. okay, I see. It's such a British thing. Poppycock! How dare you say that something? I believe that is something I should be allowed to say whenever I wish to say it! I, yeah, sorry, I don't think I ever busted out that voice in front of you before. Sorry. I can do an old woman British voice. I do hope this won't make things awkward later on. <laughs> Yeah, I got the tune for the Charlotte song right, but uh, in my defense, you don't hear that song in the game itself. You hear you hear the music for it. I don't think you quite hear somebody singing it. You hear somebody singing that final oh, line. Did you go off? And she oh, ran goes. under okay. the flying pan. Don't worry about that. If that ever happens, don't worry. Oh, okay. So something happened, which would be hard for me to describe to the people who are actually going to be watching this video later on, not in the live studio audience. Oh, okay. So the screen suddenly went black, but didn't actually go black? But yeah. other people was just for you? Just for the studio audience. Okay. Oh, and Mrs. Drake the is, studio she's drugged up. I, uh, one tablet every six hours. She has, she's on benazoline. Oh, I need to take my benazoline, otherwise. Nice. And what is this? Oh, that's an optional puzzle. Maybe I should try feeding it something. If we order Pinky and Perky, aka Turkey, we can feed it to the plant and see the uh, whatever Mrs. Drake is hiding. Hmm. It's something which makes her look suspicious. It's, it's like she wants to have the house all to herself, but she's like old at this point. Is she really going to try like kill people? <laughs> so look what Nigel did, Katie. What did Nigel do this time? Oh, he covered it up because it creeped him out. Well, Val, you don't have any. No, he can't buy any more time. We were going ah, to there you so are. I'm sorry to inform you that I shall I don't have to except that one. I just have a few things to take care of, and then I shall bid you adieu. Why? Where are you going? I have good reason to believe. Genuinely haunted. There's no way I'm staying here one minute longer than I have to. Thankfully, I've finished most of my research and have enough to start my book. Oh, hey. I have there my, we go. I'm here with oh, chairs. my lawn chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is not to be used inside. Well, seems to be inside now. <laughs> oh, burn! Oh, okay, so that, yeah, that gives Mrs. Drake time to uh, actually get the crank. I'll talk to her for a while, though. Don't worry. You can keep doing whatever it is you're doing. Okay. You can talk to Miss Drake. 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 Oh. Yes? Do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted? No, of course not. I've lived here for many, many years, and I can tell you without a doubt that absolutely no ghosts walk these halls. An occasional odd creak here and there, yes, but no ghosts. I managed to get all oh. those seedlings back in the box. Wonderful. And I managed to find that crank. There you go. Great, thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Run along. Oh, people want me to feed the the the, the <laughs> evil the plants. Okay, if people want it, I will do it. What are you gonna feed the plant? A uh, turkey. Just a slice of turkey. Why don't you feed it the one of your magic potions that you made earlier? Those aren't real. Those were just... Uh, oh, were... but you had all that stuff and that thing you looked at, and there was the green thing. Why don't you feed him the green thing? Is it, is it going to let you... Yeah, that thing. Why don't you feed him that? I need that so I can look at things under underground. Oh, oh. I see. You can't just, like, feed him the glow stick thing? Kansas. Oh, Canada. Bullhead, this is Tommy. Hi, I this know, is Nancy Drew. Oh, I'd like to we order have a Canadian food. in the audience. Oh, yeah. I think most of the uh, super like European foreigners, they sh they showed up for the first one for the first uh, like video I did today. Perky, but it's kind of oh, late George. for them now. I've got Fred and Johnny Rudder. You oh, bet. All right Canada. then, we'll come round and leave oh, it at your Rory. Cool. Bike potato. What time is it over there? Answer okay. late. <laughs> That's it. Well, here I'll ask him. Okay, so this is the lens that we put on the telescope. That's why I call it the telescope lens. I'm such a smart person. So this, um, 
we have to remember this order. Help me remember this. So it's sad face, and then parrot, then harp. I mean liar. Okay, so sad face. I'll just remember the first three. You remember the last two. How's that? Okay. I have sad face, parrot, and liar. So you remember uh, flutes and happy face. Okay, I can do that. Okay, sad face, parrot, liar, sad face, parrot. So fun. Um, okay. Those symbols look familiar. So, parrot, liar. Happy face. You didn't need me. You, you helped me there. I didn't, yeah, you were already Okay, now you take over. What? What am I supposed to do? This is this is go fish. Go fish. Oh, okay. So you said, do you have any Cleos? And she says no. So she gave you a Pegasus. And now she's saying, do you have any happy faces? And you say no, so go fish. Okay. And I'll look up the drinking gourd song. Okay, you go look up the drinking gourd song. or something. I don't get the point of this. I should have been paying attention. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> okay, you're right. Yeah, no, I don't know um, the drinking gourd. Sorry, I don't know follow the drinking gourd. But this is the Southern Death song I was thinking of, Swing Low Sweet Chariot, which is also a oh, American Negro that's a, spiritual. I didn't know that was a death song. Well, I guess it is a death song. Okay, is I didn't it, pay Isn't it about somebody dying? Swing I didn't, Low Sweet Chariot. Okay, you're going to have to help me out because I didn't pay attention to how the premise of this game at all. And so I'm like pressing buttons and nothing's happening, so... This is called... It, have you never played Go Fish? Well, but I don't understand. They keep showing me cards. Like, what's the, Look, what's the point of this? Look, you click on the button to well, ask, yeah, do you but, have any of those Well, things? yes, I am, but there's, like, what's the point of her showing me the cards up here? She. This is the card she's asking you for. Okay, and I... Okay, but there's, like, no participation on my part. Okay. And so then she showed me... Okay. And now she's taking all of your Thalias. Way to go. Why? Because she asked if you had any Thalias, and you did. Do, do you am not I, know how Go Fish works? Am I Benny or am I Penny in this? You are clearly Penny. I don't know. It's just randomly going and moving cards. Like I said, I wasn't paying attention to the initial premise of this game. The premise is Go Fish! Well, but then they're just randomly showing me cards. I don't... Uh, whatever. Whatever, okay. Whatever. Am I gonna have well, to do this again? Is Michael gonna have to Yes. Gonna have to lay the smack down. Basically, yeah. Ask for but, Pegasus, that's the only one you got. Oh she has a Pegasus. Okay, now ask for Arado, because that's the only one you have. I don't know what Parrot. Oh. Parrot. Ask for Parrot. She doesn't have Parrot, so she gives you Zeus ones, and then she's probably gonna steal steal it from you, that jerk. Don't you hate it, you know, at the end of Go Fish games where basically, you know, this person gets four mashes in a row? I prefer Old Maid. Oh, and now they're just going to take all the birds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I lose. Yeah, it looks like you lost. Mm-hmm. So now we need to do it again. And she Yo, gets... you need to do it again. I'm... No, we need to do it again. Oh, okay, man. okay. So let me show you how this works. Okay, look at which one do I want? Calliope, Euterpe. How come, like, the chat thing stopped? Are people... 
Did I break it? No, you didn't. Oh, okay. Okay, there it goes. There's like a million that just suddenly came up now. Is it because I didn't have my cursor on there? I think you you probably did something. Okay, so like we, <laughs> we, we haven't, you hadn't seen any, any comments. Now all the comments from the past five minutes Are appear in up. three oh, seconds. Uh, information overload. We're great. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I'm just dead weight here. Okay, so oh. I'm looking for writing tablets. Damn. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to what she said. You distracted me. Okay. So. Sorry. So this is one of the games where you can't ask for something unless you have it. So uh, let's ask for that. She doesn't have that either. Pegasus. Oh, I know which one is Pegasus. It, it doesn't help that I don't know what any of these signs well, are. Well, Pegasus, is Pegasus the horse one with the wings? Yeah. Oh, hey, I actually got something from her. What should I ask? Should I ask for the flutes or the uh, lyre? I'll ask for the lyre. I should have gone with flutes. They don't call it a lie. They call it something else. Is that Latin or is that Greek? This is supposed to be Latin, but these are the names of the muses. Oh, okay. So this is enough their various, uh, what's it called? Uh, um, so symbol this... or something. Okay, yeah. So I should ask for these. I guess. I don't know that much about the muses, to be honest. I know they were in the movie Hercules, but <laughs> that's about it. Like Edith something or another wrote like a those famous books about them. Edith Stein. No, I thought you said she's got like a different name, but she wrote like the you know the um the ones about the Greek mythology or whatever that you're supposed to read in like AP English. Uh, I only remember the super old boring version. Yeah. Fortunately, I'm getting lucky. She's asking for the same things over and over. Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. Well, she said, do you have this? And I said, no. But when she turned it over, she got a match, and now she continues her turn. Well, that's another way of playing a regular go fish. Okay, so which one should I do? Uh, I do the Earth one, Uranus. Oh, hey, got Terpsichore. Sweet. Okay, she's asking for Pegasus again. Okay. Why don't you take her Pegasus? I don't. I can't ask for it. You oh, can't ask you for a card it? if you don't oh, have it. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering why I kept clicking things and nothing was happening. Because it's like, well, she just showed me a Pegasus. Why can't I just take it? And it was it's annoying. Yeah, that's what we do in real life to cheat. But why did she get another turn? Great. Now she stole my little birdie bird. Ah, uh, Katie, she's winning. She got a streak. Holy, ah! Oh! Oh, you did something wrong. I know. Let's ask for Calliope. She'd better have Uranium. I can't tell who's winning or not. But let's see. So it automatically gives me Pegasus, and now I'm going to steal her Pegasi. Hopefully, Did this means I win. you remember that she had it? Well, no. I mean, that's the only one which hasn't been filled out. Oh, well, then of course you're going to get it. Let's see. By default. I got what? one, two, three, All right, four, Betty, five. Pay up. I win. Okay, I win. What's paying you up? The key. Oh, is that the key to the, um, oh, what was that thing? Yeah. No, so what, it, it, it's not. Uh, okay, so it's not the key that you actually need. Basically, what we have to do is solve this puzzle. I forget. This is according to the Mutus Lieber, but every every single thing has a little key. Every one of these pillars. So we want to move the pipes. That way, uh, things are be will be going to that forge down in the basement. Be nice. They're telling me to be nice. They're telling me to be nice. Mm -hmm. I'm being mean? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't know how go fish is. I don't know if I can put up with this anymore. I don't know. It's a linear game. I don't know. Anyway, let's play go fish tonight. Why don't we play go fish window tonight? Now that I, I know. Looks like a piece is missing. I forget what gives me the time piece. So many puzzles, none of them remembered. And a winner is Nuno! Hey! 
So this is one puzzle. Creepy apple yes, from out of nowhere. I see you did not heed my warning. I realize you're a very curious young woman, but know this. These passageways can only lead to misfortune for the uninitiated, and I am not only speaking of physical peril. What a meanie. Would being initiated have anything to do with secret rituals in the middle of the night? Nancy, I know you're a good person and mean well. And I understand you've oh, been hey, compelled I'm a text to discover message. what is happening to Linda. From Mom. But I also oh, have gosh. certain duties which may conflict with yours. Don't tell I will not here. interfere as long as I am prohibited from <laughs> doing okay. so. okay, she got the but message But know that the instant okay, so I receive the word, you will no longer be welcomed in Blackmore. Mm -hmm. Good day. It, it, uh, YouTube remembered that I'm suddenly signed in on two different computers at the same time. It suddenly figured that out. <laughs> And awesome. it's like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to do that. Real people don't use two computers at once. It's okay, soccer kid, I don't like Ethel either. <laughs> Nobody likes Ethel. Okay, so Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> Ethel. Ethel. Okay, so. Uh, uh, uh. I, uh, if anybody can remember how I, I get the, 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 the piece I'm yeah, missing, that, that would be nice. Oh, now I remember. Okay. I have to go down down through the hidden passageways again. Okay, so I wanted to... Thanks a lot, game. You didn't let me do what I wanted to do. I want to throw the cricket ball at the target. Do you see the target on the slide, Katie? No. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, cricket ball on the slide. Of course it has to be a cricket ball. It can't be like a little cross ball or a golf football or anything like that. Bridget was a... Uh, 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 a oh, cricket yeah, I champion. Think I saw... Oh, there it is. There you go. This gives me the one piece. It's a the... random thing for it to have you do. It, it, it was explained in one of those notes somewhere. Okay. Far, far away. Okay. Don't need any help. Know what I'm doing here. Oh, okay. Remember that opens up the secret passageway. Oh, okay. I guess we can go the secret passageway if we have to. I do. I should have done this earlier. Last time I was so, in the secret passageway. It's just so creepy and weird and secretive and dark. Mm -hmm. So you can actually turn right here for a puzzle. This reminds me of that picture I saw in the mutist labor. I'm supposed to press the button under the blue triangles I want to move. Then press the one under the group I want to move them to until I wind up with a group of just four triangles. So you're trying to make it into a group of four triangles? Yeah, you want just a group of four by moving things around. Oh, okay, you can only move them in the sets that they're in. So eventually you basically need to create a one set, move it to a three? Yeah. Okay. So, so there there's, we've a got, one. there's a one, and okay, basically so what I would do over. is yeah. I would move that over. Well, yeah, and then you move the whole thing back. High five! Yeah. Katie got it. I can figure that one out. So you got four. Okay, so that drains the well, so now we can go to the well for the worst puzzle ever. I open that door Maybe now. I'll flood the place. Making a crazy, crazy triangle puzzle thing just to drain a well. Normally there's a shut-off valve in the backyard. Well, well no, it, it fills the well. Sorry, it fills, oh, it the, fills well. the well. The well was drained. Still, you there should be a hose, or... They're making this incredibly complicated. Why aren't you just going under the house and going and uh, busting up the pipes with a wrench? <laughs> Go in and, like, grab the monkey that wrench there. The food I this is, they're making this too hard. So Looks like pinky and turkey in this game. is turkey. I knew that. This smells delicious. Oh, old mashed potatoes. Okay, and I saved a slice of turkey. Mmm. She doesn't have it. She doesn't Why are you eating butter. in this? Why are you eating in this game? I'm because I'm stuffed. I'm hungry. But why would you eat your computer generated person? Why would you why would you just skip those parts? This it's seem unnecessary. <sighs> People in the studio audience, explain to her why she should eat. Explain to her why it's unnatural for Nancy Drew to go several days without eating. She's a computer generated figure. Is that just to make it more realistic? Is that their whole point with that? 
So John does, does she also go to the bathroom in these games? Does she go several days without using the laboratory? She doesn't use the bathroom in this game, but, but yes, she's British, she there are bathrooms. Oh, Nancy the... is not British. Well, no, this is a British game, and so we'd say laboratory. Ty would use that term. But like say, but I mean the games. So he's like, oh look, it's been half an hour. And Nancy needs to take a potty break. Time for you viewers at home to go take a potty break too. Is that how it is? <laughs> See what I have to put up with people in the studio audience. I try to introduce her to Nancy Drew games and she makes potty jokes. I didn't make a potty. I'm just saying how ridiculously I don't Like your argument's invalid that she needs to eat because she doesn't need to go to the bathroom. So Nancy she, needs to eat, okay? Nancy is real, okay. You know what? Nancy is real. Real people eat. <laughs> oh, whoa! Creepy figurine in the middle of the hallway which we missed because we were reading... <laughs> okay, I'm reading the comments. Nancy on the has a bladder thing. made out of steel. <laughs> okay, so she keeps the not really the night I the bathroom is not. Not in this game. You know, it took them like eight <laughs> games for her to have her actually eat food for once. Oh, okay. So that was a, that's a new feature they added on. But no, like I said, um, I Wait, ordered. Someone said that she does use the bathroom in one of the games. The wolf, wolfy grace person. White Wolf of Icicle Creek, Waverly Academy, yep. Okay, fine. She goes to the bathroom. And in and Deadly gets... Device as well. She's a computer generated creature. Why would she need to go to the bathroom? Why would she... It's unrealistic for her to be investigating like this school which has no bathroom, right? Wouldn't it be. Uh -huh. That would be, yeah, that would be unrealistic, but it wouldn't be real. So this is why I ordered the turkey. This is why I ordered uh -huh. food. So I could give it to the carnivorous plant, Katie. It that was a puzzle. To... So I could read this. See, okay. it's a puzzle. And now it will let you it's read not it because, because Nancy is it. actually going to eat the food herself. It's okay, she needs it. He needs to feed it to the plant. Okay, so if uh, Linda Linda has to live six months inside Blackmore Manor, otherwise, um, the the house goes to uh, what's her face goes to Mrs. Drake. So that's a motive. She has a legal document saying that, whoa, if she can scare this woman off of the house. This is a horrible puzzle, too. It's randomized. You want to get your froggy frog to the princess. It's a game based on that children's book John Pendleton wrote. But you don't want to get eaten by the alligators. So you gotta move over. This is randomly determined as well. The card where an alligator's gonna randomly appear? Yeah, usually. See, this seems deceptively easy. I, I've gotten stuck on this puzzle for like, yeah, okay, yeah. There. Oh, and it starts with the beginning? Yeah. What? That's not fair. You already got so far. I know. So this puzzle can get you stuck for minutes if you just like. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, here. You, you... Should I go? It's not even really a puzzle if it's just, why can't you jump him in the boat? Should I do that? I don't know. Can you jump him in the boat? Yes, and? Oh, snap. We figured it out. That was a high five, by the way. That wasn't like me slapping her for not <laughs> understanding why Nancy wants food. That would be bad. So domestic violence going on here. Well, See? there's a lot of domestic violence in the Nancy Drew games. Oh, she gets okay. hit over the head and knocked unconscious a lot. Poor Doesn't Nancy. she know that that causes the, what's it called, stuff in your brain that the football players get? Tumors? No, no, no. They get this, uh, like, this protein that builds up in their brain that, like, slowly, um, basically gives them, like, a version of Alzheimer's or something like that. Oh. So Nancy. Nancy's gonna be, like, a football player. She's gonna, gonna be in the old folks' home with them when she's, you know, 40. Fortunately, she never turns older. Sounds like I did something right. But she didn't go to college, apparently, because in, like, in the older Nancy Drew books, you were telling me she was in high school. and now She she's hasn't like... gone to college. She's 18 years old, I think. Uh, the game series never qualifies how old she is, but she's usually 17, 16 or 18, depending on what series you're reading. Hmm. Okay, so I, I did something inside. right. If I track mud in the house, Mrs. Drake will kill me. Good job, Katie. Yeah. I don't... I don't... <laughs> I'm dead weight here. Okay, so this is a puzzle where I want to touch the wand to all three of these gargoyle statues in under a minute. Uh, 
I actually like this puzzle, although I... This wand probably works through magnets. It seems like it's like, ugh, I just solved the big, huge, overarching puzzle. <laughs> I don't want another tiny puzzle after that. But I'll put up with it because I'm a nice guy. Okay, now I go to the 4G thingy. And I lit it. Whoa, something tells me I just succeeded in lighting the forge. Okay, we just succeeded in lighting the forge. Woohoo. You lit the forge. Did you use how'd you I should pay attention. Magic. Did you use magic? Why didn't you use like, crazy? What's go. that supposed to mean? No. Everyone's sleeping. Go to your room and set your clock. Really, what time Lulu? Do most I wanted to get show you what here. Lulu is like. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Set your clock for 6 a.m. Like... Ah, sweet dreams. Lulu is a parrot. Lulu is the culprit. The parrot? Yeah, parrot is guilty. Parrot was working spoiler. with the plant. Oh, okay, here, I'll put spoiler alert on there. Yeah, spoiler, Lulu is culprit, yeah. The parrot, the parrot is the one turning Linda into a, uh, <laughs> into a, uh, vampire. Werewolf, sorry. Ooh, nightmare sequence. Crazy nightmare sequence here. This is supposed to be scary. But the animation is just so obvious what technique they use in Photoshop to make this happen. <laughs> uh, well, and then it's 3.15 in the morning, but I don't want, I, I wanted to talk to uh, Lulu, the parrot. Yes, we are almost done with the game. And look, now all these people are like scariness. They know it's scary. Take it away. But how can you expect to feel better if you don't eat properly? And from now mm, on, we didn't get to hear the song. Oh, well. A healthy digestive system cannot do without roughage, you know. Yes, Mrs. Cole. <sighs> oh no, scary. Okay, this song is terrified me. <laughs> okay, apparently everyone else thought that last part was scary too. They thought they were frightened by it when they were like all in. Second Looks grade. Like some sort of Clearly. charm. But now they're all like, come on, can do this. They're like, Photoshop. I'm afraid we're bad. Busy. Yes, exactly. I ruined it for them. I'm a bad person. Yeah, okay. So what was I going to do? I was going to show... We're going to solve the mystery? Yeah, but I wanted to talk to everybody <laughs> first. Hello. Do you by any chance know Lavin? Kathy. Christy, Rogavik, Ben, A, B, D, B, G, Semper, Ubi, Sabubi, Moritori, Status, What's that mean? What's he saying? I'll take that as Whoever a yes. I came, I saw a concert, conquered, always wear Fire underwear. Away. Really? It says that? Always wear underwear? Yeah. Novus Mundus. Semper Ubi, Ubi. Novus Mundus. A new world. Did I translate it wrong? Bob's your uncle. Um, there's a whole video of me going hey, through every single Latin phrase her. translated that you can do, and some of them I would translate differently. I see. It's like a style thing. Like, scientia means knowledge or science. It's like, pff, come on, it's clearly knowledge. It is clearly knowledge and not science with that particular <laughs> translation. <laughs> Nancy Drew, I am frowning upon you. So, Numen Lumum, our light? Pergamentum exit. Where's, where's the one with scientia? Now I'm going to have to look it up. See sick omnos, thus it goes. Bis vivat qui bene vivat. Who who lives well lives twice. That was like a college, uh, college, uh, what's it called? Motto. Yeah, sine scientia ars nihil est. So it's without knowledge, art is nothing. Or would you translate it without science, art is nothing? Um, I think both would make sense. Yeah, I mean, we don't have any, this is beauty, no beauty and everything. There's no context, right? Well, but wait, wait, the people above that, though, aren't they the ones that made the quotes? Yeah, so those so are real she... people. And so then, well, if you can figure out what that person is, then you'll be able to translate correctly because it's taken from a real quote. We don't know who that, who she is. But who's the, but that wasn't called the without, um... These are not one of the ones, um, 
with some of these people, like we know, we know who this one is. That's Eleanor, I think. Mm -hmm. Das is Fortuna Yuvat. Uh, fortune favors the bold. That's what that is. Ars Longa, and this is one I complain about. Ars Longa, it's Ars Longa Vita Brevis. It's the full thing. Art is long, life is short. That one just says art is long. Yeah, they left out the part about life being short. Well, then I guess maybe their lives aren't short. Minimum, uh, the biggest things are the smallest things, or the smallest things are the biggest. Okay, here, sorry, I've distracted you. I'll let you, like, win your game. Oh, yeah, wasn't I going to beat a game or something? You should beat a game. Ugh. And one of this is a, a, a full Latin. In hoc signo, vincus. That's, uh, that's what's his face is. Constantine, Emperor Constantine. In this sign, you will conquer. Somebody wants you to do voice changes in venture projects. What are you talking about? Well, like, when you do your, when you slip between, like... Oh, um, somebody and... wants me to just switch into, what sort of voice am I supposed to be doing? British accent? Have you I don't know, there's the a delay on it. I'll have to find out in a minute or two. And I'll tell you what you what acting you should be doing. Pirate accent and then British door. one? Heck yeah. What? I fail to see why that is any of your concern. You gotta but do the you English one, know, not the British one. I was of only trying to help you. <laughs> oh. What's the I difference between the English one and the British one? I say, you don't know which the difference between the two of them is? I'm sorry, sir. I wasn't quite as sure which action I should do. Oh, well, actually, nibby, nibby me jiggets and poppity scop and hippity skippity doo. Goodbye. Good day. Okay, that's like five British accents. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's a jolly holiday with Mary. <laughs> no wonder that is Mary out we love. Well, I've got a couple of other ones. Basically, what I did was like Harry Potter voices is what I did when reading Harry huh. Potter. Looks like Nigel forgot oh, his yeah. laptop. And there are supposed to be like funny things because he wrote extra new notes. Hmm. That's cool. Didn't like the... Notes so far. This book is so far is a total bore. <laughs> At least he's self-aware. Nice. Alright. Let's talk about the Harry Potter voices. Didn't, like, J.K. Rowling recently come out and say that, um... Oh, wait, we already talked about that. With the whole Hermione and the Ron thing that she regretted putting them together. And yeah. It should have been with her. It should have been Hermione and Harry. Well, I think it's just she regretted putting the two of them together. Because Hermione's going to live in a loveless marriage from now on. With a guy who only cares about food and sports and his BFF Harry. Oh, and then wasn't there that great Facebook meme where it's a picture of Ron? It's like Ron in the, the apartment of shame. It's like him in like a bachelor apartment with his. Uh... Ron is so sad. She's gonna leave. Linda? Him. Yeah, that was hilarious. Tell me again how you opened well, up. Let's talk to Linda about everything, and then we'll finish the game. I've We're going for the record. Much. Record what? Longest time to take this to do is this there game? Anything I can get for you? <laughs> No, no. Um, there's actually a longer one. If you take like over 50 hours to beat uh, Danger on Deception Island, you get a special award at the end for taking forever. You should go and give you a refund for your money back. But I like talking. No. <laughs> She's on for the next game. Now, that would be smart. Do you hear me? You know, it'd be cool if they had like a cheat in there where you did like a cheat and gave you a coupon for the next game. We don't know what the next game's going to be, but we're going to give you a coupon. They show they show cool. a preview of the next game at the end of every game, so you'll see when I actually beat the game. And I was supposed to talk to Linda about everything, but she yeah, hated us. So let's see if now she will like us again because I upset her. Didn't you, why didn't you give her the turkey you had? Hi, Linda. <laughs> you had that turkey okay, you had. I understand. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Well, she is a werewolf. Yeah, she does like her and meat. I mean, that was what she was saying. It's like she's getting in trouble because she, she doesn't want roughage. $40 bill. There's no such thing as a $40 bill, Katie. Somebody wrote $40 bill. Well, it'd be I'm... nice if they gave you $40, but that I costs don't... more than the actual game does. I think, I, think, I think the company would lose money if they gave $40 for everybody who bought a $20 game. Just... Well, it said something that said, that's creepy with a $40 bill in it. So it was like something in the animation showed like a $40 bill is what they were saying. I don't know what they're talking about. Somebody will eventually clarify. You all ready for this? Bum, bum, bum. The forge is lit. Wow, molten metal. Woohoo, molten metal. Okay, so now I can solve this puzzle. 
I'm trying to drop this in my inventory. So this puzzle is based off the Mutus Lieber and all of those... Different patterns in the mold. Don't want to talk over Nancy. And all of the, uh, the, um, what do you call them? The, the, those things I was looking at the wall. Coat of arms? Let's go with that. All the coats of arms. So this is based off of Thing in the Mutus Lieber and all the coats of arms. This, they explain how to get the key. It's a very specific key, and I have, if I have this correct, Nancy will say, hooray, that looks right. Otherwise we'll blow up and kill you? No, you just have to do it over again. Uh, okay, so now you're pouring the mold into the forest to make the key. There, that looks right. You already have right. like two other keys in your thing. Apparently none of those are the right key. It's that key. See, look, it's a very, very complicated... Key. Okay, we're finally going to find the Pendulum <laughs> treasure. Let's let's stop with the, with the meanness. We're too snarky. Okay, so here it is. Somebody else appreciated it. Just, what and... is that? <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> the culprit just appeared, oh. and you're talking about Walmart, Katie. I don't know. You are completely <laughs> destroying the mood. You're supposed to be like, oh my gosh, Jane appeared. is really the culprit? That is a small, treasure. Isn't Jane the small uh, child that made me do that horrible puzzle? Yeah, you, see, you should have seen this coming. And can we take this small child to jail? No, don't touch it! just get spanked? Okay, I, I need to back away. Oh, okay, she gets trapped. Yay, trapped her. Could you just happen to have a giant box that's large enough to trap a person right there, right when you found out who the culprit was? Well, no. You see, I was able to look up and step away. Jane didn't read the book ahead of time to re read about the trap. I presume one of the books talks about the trap. Okay, but the fact that there happens to be a trap right there. Well, it is the treasure. What do you mean by everything? Mm -hmm. It's my fault, Linda's sick. I mean, he's not okay. really sick. I, I just made her think she is. I left that it's curse in her room it. and gave her allergy pills and put her medicine in a moisturizer. Yep, yep, yep. So, so she put Mrs. Drake's pills into Linda's food to make Linda all sleepy. Mm -hmm. And she put her Uncle Roger, her Uncle Roger, the bald one with the toupee, mm -hmm. she put his hair stuff in her moisturizer. That made her a werewolf? Yeah. You made her think that she's changing into the beast of black. Doesn't she know that mixing prescriptions is dangerous? She does. The, the game is going to get us all about that. Oh, okay. Is it gonna tell them about the prescription drug abusers that live on the streets in Portland? No. You know, this is gonna be you. No, it's no, it's going to say, hey, don't try to turn anybody into a werewolf by slipping them drugs. That is bad. I'm running out of air. So many more valuable lessons you'll be teaching. Like, don't abuse prescription drugs at all, or mix your medicine. It's not her fault that she was being secretly fed drugs by Jane. But it's Jane's fault that Jane secretly fed her drugs. Well, Jane's 12 years old, which she's going that's to use no as an excuse. excuse. That no, is no excuse for excuse. slipping people drugs. That's no excuse. Yeah, no, that's not a good excuse. But Jane well. also used the power of suggestion. She made Linda read a book about werewolves. Uh, fine. So we're using the statue to save her, although I don't know why we want to. Thank you. Dear Ned. Well, there is a beast of Blackmore, Jane. She made poor Linda think she was turning into a monster by putting her uncle's hair restorer in Linda's moisturizer. She also slipped Mrs. Drake's allergy pills into Linda's food so she'd feel woozy all the time. An extremely dangerous thing to do. Do Even not do that Jane's at home, kids. Was very upset, especially when he found out Jane had done it because she still wants him and her real mother to get back together. Oops. After Jane apologized to Linda and Hugh apologized to both of them, they all resolve to do whatever it takes to become a real family. As for Blackmore Manor, ever since I told him about all the passageways and gadgetry I discovered, Hugh has become fascinated with his family history and has asked, you no, know, ordered Ethel to teach him what she's taught Jane. And while he doesn't believe for a second that the meteorite in that old alchemy lab has magical powers, he has encouraged Jane to come up with a puzzle to help ensure its safekeeping, just as initiates have been doing for centuries. Which reminds me, the Pendulums swore me to secrecy when it comes to all their traditions. So don't tell anybody any of this, okay? Nigel suspected something was up when he came to get his laptop and has been hounding me ever since. 
This is just the kind of stuff he'd love to include in that unauthorized tell-all he's trying to write. If he calls me one more time, I'm telling on him to Mrs. Drake. <laughs> That'll teach him. Ever yours, Nancy. We did it, Katie! Yay. And people are thinking Jane will grow up to be a drug dealer. That's horrible. <laughs> poor Jane. Oh, poor Jane. Poor Jane. Her life is going down the tubes. So I get Sleuth Your Truth Award for All Around Super Sleuthing. I lost so many puzzles for you. How can you get that award? I don't know what all the awards are, but trust me, there are several. Oh, okay. I think there's one for, like, dying a lot. That's usually one of the awards. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, okay. Uh, and not that I ever get that. All right. It sounds like people are getting kind of bored. Or is it, uh... Is it, uh... The year is 1930, and everything is on the rise. Unemployment, government red lines, and organized crime. In the midst of it all, a heroine is born. Armed with only a flashlight, a blue roadster, and a spirited resourcefulness, a 16-year-old detective will go on to inspire hope in the hearts of young girls and curses upon the lips of evildoers everywhere. Her, Her name? Nancy, Nancy Drew. Drew. Her Interactive presents Nancy Drew, Secret of the Old Clock. Based off one of the original Nancy Drew novels. Well, actually, that novel wasn't good enough to be a game, so we took four novels and put them together and kind of sort of made them into a game. Coming in 2005. Oh, man. 2005. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. It's going to be quite a, li quite a long wait. Quite a long wait. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Katie. I'm very sorry. But don't worry. It will come. It will come eventually. <laughs> I do like how the picture of the guy, the evildoer inside the... Gates is actually want... not a picture from 1930s. I see. A bunch of people want q and A. I see a lot of q and A's popping up here. Oh, there. let's not do a q and A. I did a q and A at the beginning of this. Oh, okay. That's a video, which was just for you people in the studio audience. I see. But it's almost like 4 o'clock, so I mean, when did you have to leave? Like 6? I gotta go pick up my, a birthday cake at 4. So okay. That's the time I said be there. Oh wow! I'll okay. go and I'll let you have some. I'll let you have the leftovers. It's a nice cream cake from Baskin and Robbins. Ooh, so, yeah, that's delicious. Yeah. I like birthday cake, but yeah, we, we but you need, just get the leftovers. But we need we we have stuff we need to do. All Mainly, right. we need to uh, get it to get that window fixed. Yeah. All right, I will be happy to help. I brought my tools. But I'm letting all of these. <laughs> I'm leading all letting all the credits roll, so you guys can see who made this game, who is responsible for this. Okay, and if you're wondering who's responsible for all the torture you had to put up with. That would be me, um, Michael, otherwise known as Argle Thump, and then Katie, my girlfriend. Do you have a cool code name like Argle Thump? My uh, handle is MS Katie Wells, but I haven't, I don't know if I've ever made a comment. Well, I don't know, I guess I did just make comments, so. Well, that's your YouTube name, okay. Okay, yeah. so same guy doing Hugh, Tommy, and Alan. Mm -hmm. And one of the guys who works for the Nancy, he's like the game producer, was the 1930s radio announcer. Max Holacek. Yeah, he was at the very beginning, second credit. Oh, okay. Man, too many people did stuff on this game, and they all have names. These are special thanks. Oh, special thanks. So these are like their like wives and girlfriends and uh, lifetime domestic part registered domestic partners, <laughs> something like that. You don't work with tax law, which describes all those different hey, things. Hey, man, it could be, no, of course not, our civil unions, or, um, what's it called? Well, now in some states, they're legally allowed to be married because they're taking a place of celebration approach with that in this country. Although, you people in Canada, there's a bunch of Canadians here, I think, don't they allow it in Canada? Canadian laws? Yeah, in Canada, in Canada. In Canada. <laughs> no, Canada, it's in Canada, Canada. <laughs> no, there's no Canadian. There's okay, uh, see you later, country. everybody. All right.